無論だでなければ監督役などというものが派遣されると思うか Of course not. Do you think a supervisor would have been dispatched if it were so? Dispatched? Because I mean, dispatched can mean going out to supervise, but dispatched can also mean like dead, killed, super like donezo. So, you know, you gotta differentiate between what kind of dispatched you mean, Mr. Kire. So, yeah, hi everybody. Renegade67 and or 8 here. With some more Let's Play stream, Fate Stay Night of the Blind Variety. There was no stream on Monday because of Canadian Thanksgiving, because I live in Canardia.、Um, but I am excited to do more Fating of the Stay Variety.、Uh, so last time we were talking to Kire, we were really in the middle of some kind of weirdo conversation. The Holy Grail didn't just start now. Oh,、uh, yeah, repeating Holy Grail War. Repeating, is he mean this kind of battle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then Shiro's like, What? This isn't the only time?、Uh, that's why I must minimize the victims, right? And we were talking about how you don't have to kill the masters, it's just easier. Anyways,、uh, um, I skipped last week. There was not, no one to shout out last week, wah, wah, but, but we're back on the streak of shouting out people that followed me、um, over the weekend when I wasn't streaming, as per usual. Uh, so, big thanks to Block So Plenty, followed me two days ago, and Worm38P, followed me about an hour ago. So,、um, thanks to both of you for following. Anyways, let's play more game.、Um, of course, now, do you think a supervisor would have been dispatched if it were so? If this was the First Grail War, is what he was talking about. <laughs> 生異物を回収する任を帯びる特務局の末端でな本来は成獣時の調査回収を旨とするがここでは聖杯の査定の任を帯びている The church bears a duty to recover the holy relics as we are the lowest of the special agencies the lowest of the low we're so I'm so humble by the way Originally, it was our goal to research and recover the true cross. But here we have a duty to investigate the Holy Grail. Oh, the true cross. Is that also some big MacGuffin that does some other church Grail war? But instead of a Grail war, it's a cross war. So instead of the Holy Grail war, it's the true cross war. It sounds a little less epic, but I could, I could be down for that. The Holy Grail war is a true cross war. It sounds a little less epic, but I could, I could be down for that. これが正しいものであるのなら回収しそうでなければ否定しろとな。はあ ?We have to investigate the 726th Holy Grail that has appeared in this far eastern land. はあ ?We must recover it if it is real and dispute it if it's not. 726th? I thought this was only like the fifth or something Grail War, unless I'm remembering very wrong. Or maybe until like five grails ago, they weren't having an official war. It was just a free for all bloodbath, maybe. Did it really take them 700 to start?、Uh, I don't know. It sounds weird.、It、sounds like a much bigger number than I was expecting.、Um, that's also an interesting question. To investigate the 726th Holy Grail that has appeared. So, is this like. A different Holy Grail than the one that was in Fate Zero? Are they like separate t y p e of entities or are they the same thing? Is it all the same thing? And that's another thing.、Um, you must recover it if it's real and dispute it if it's not. Wasn't it summoned because the seven of us gathered? Isn't it the seven energies that are needed to summon it in the first place? Or was that only how it orig was originally summoned way back with the very first one and now we're on the 726th one? And now it's just a tradition that it s u m m o n Does it summon itself? Or if, does it start summoning itself and we just have to like follow up on that by the seven of us doing kumbaya? And so, like, that's weird. That's weird. That doesn't make sense, Kira. Explain more, please. I don't get it. 726th? That many holy grails? So. Who knows? It just means that there have been at least that many things that seem like one, but not all of them were one. Because you have to like, dispute it and confirm it 
So any ones you disputed are still counted as part of the 726? How often do you dispute them? But wait, if you find one and dispute it, does that mean we could have a grail war where there's no grail to claim? Huh? Not this guy? If there's, you gotta have a real grail. Otherwise, we're all killing each other only to get, like, no wish. I'm, I don't get it. So, the and one of those is the Holy Grail from the Holy Grail War observed in this town. Wait. Wait, this isn't the 726. You're saying, oh, okay, wait, wait. So you're saying the one in this town is the same one that was in, in Phase Zero, but that is not the same one that's just showed up that you're now investigating. It's a whole separate one. So wait, we keep having the Holy Grail War here in this city, but is that, like, just a Japanese thing? And there are other Grail Wars going on in other parts of the world for other Grails that are manifesting? Is that... Maybe. Maybe that's how it works. Like, each country has their own... something or other. Does that mean there's 726 Grail Wars every 30 or so years? That's a lot. That's more than one Grail War per year. Or if they're all happening at, like, the same time, then that's, like... A lot. It's like two Grail Wars per day. Two new ones start per day. Or something. Gosh. According to records, it is said the first battle occurred about 200 years ago. So, wait, the first battle for the first Grail? Is that the same as the Grail we have? Or is it a different Grail? I'm so confused now. But, but wait, it occurred 200 years ago. And we're on like the 5th or 6th grail, I think. Maybe I'm completely wrong about that. But if we're on like the 5th or 6th grail, and I think there's supposed to be one every 30 or so years, yeah, that sounds about right. If we're on like the 6th, maybe grail, 180 years ago would be 200 years ago. Granted, Fate Zero's grail war was only 10 years ago, so I think it's a shorter time than usual. But um, maybe some of the others were a longer time than that, like 40, 50 years. This is the fifth Grail War. Oh, hey, Inu, um, Inu Hanyu123 actually showed up. What's up? <clears throat> How you doing? The fifth Grail War. Okay. Um, so that means Fate Zeros was the fourth. So, yeah, that's even weirder. So I guess I thought it was like every 30 or so years, but that sounds more like every 50 or so years. Um, okay. Eagle. Yaku Gojunen Shukide. Since then, the battles have been, have been uh, between masters have been repeating a cycle of about 50 years. Okay. I thought it was like every 30, but you're saying every 50. But that makes it even weirder that it's just now only been 10 years. That makes it even weirder. Um, I remember thinking that, actually. Like, at some point... Um, I remember thinking that, actually, at some point in Fate Zero, I was sure they said something like 30 or 50 years. And I remember thinking, wait, so, like, this kid, because uh, cause, uh, Rin's dad's daughter, because I, I forget Rin's dad's name, but um, I remember thinking, wait, so this girl, like, she's, like, going to be in the grill? Well, that doesn't make sense. It's supposed to be, like, 30 years later. She's going to be, like, a grown woman? I thought they were, like, waifus. But they're, like, not waifus. But they are waifus, but they shouldn't have been waifus. So something is amiss. Um, yeah, uh, but yeah, please don't just leak info that hasn't been converted in the game. Yeah, um, that's the thing. Um, I'm a little more lax about spoilers on YouTube because I have a comment filterer, uh, why is full of death, but on, uh, Twitch, you definitely be a little more careful what you say because I'm going to be reading it. In fact, while we're here, actually, why is full of death, um, I guess because you're on YouTube as well, I'll go ahead and, um, nope, how do I do this? Nope, where is it? There it is. Nope, that's not it either. How, what? It, uh, it, wait, what's the button? Oh, there we go. Mod user. Yeah, boom. You're modded. I made you a mod mod. Uh, okay, so why is full of death? I believe I did that right. Hold on. You're my first... You're my first Twitch mod. Yeah, okay. So, that's not true, actually. Stream Elements is technically a Twitch mod, but it's like, you know, it's a bot. Um, anyways. Uh, so, yeah, just... Uh, uh, not as nuanced as what I'm having you do on YouTube, but just, uh, you know, if, if you see any spoilers, you can delete them. Whisper to the person if, um, yeah, just, you know, any spoilers, delete the spoilers. If, um, 
I might give you a little more detailed rundown later. I don't want to halt the playthrough, but you know, if uh, if someone asks why you deleted their comment, maybe you can whisper to them the specifics. Or remind them that, you know, to look at my panels where I have a very detailed... I want to try to streamline it, but I have a very detailed description of what I consider spoilers and what I don't want in my Twitch chat. Um, I'm slightly behind, though, because Australia Internet... No, it's fine, it's fine. I get it. <clears throat> Anyways, um, but, uh, yeah, the only thing I would ask is that if someone... Uh, makes a really long comment and there's a spoiler in there Maybe copy the comment and whisper it to them before you delete it Just because I know that feeling when I make a long comment and then it gets deleted Because of one minor spoiler that was somewhere in the comment that just feels shitty So if you're gonna do that at least I I personally would want to copy the comment and then paste it to them in a whisper So they can like change it a little bit and then repost it, but um Ooh Anyways, where was I? <clears throat> The battles between masters have been repeating in a cycle of about 50 years. Oh, you just said it. This is the fifth holy. This is the fifth holy grail war. Since the last one was 10 years ago, this will be the shortest cycle yet. Uh huh. And is there a reason for that? Because 10 is a bit shorter than 30. 50, 10 is a lot shorter than 50. Are you guys insane? You guys have repeated this thing four times already? Um, it's kind of hard clarifying versus spoilers. I'll take questions as rhetorical. Oh, like when I ask questions? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, generally when I'm asking questions, I'm, I am, I am generally being rhetorical. I'll make it clear if I'm asking you guys for help. Um... Uh, now, if it's something that's been brought up in the game already and I've forgotten, that's fine, if you want to remind me. But if it hasn't, then, then yeah, just don't bother answering. Um, anyways, <clears throat> sing four times already, yeah. <laughs> I feel the same way. As you said, people have repeated this uh, event many times. And not just us. Like, there's, there's other grails having wars about them in other places? So. Yes. Long speech. Is OBS actually picking that up? Uh, it says it. Okay, OBS says it's doing fine. All right. Uh, Twitch Inspector must be behind the times. I did drop a few frames there. Okay, Twitch Inspector is either wrong or OBS is wrong. OBS says I'm fine. Twitch Inspector is saying that I am. Oh, nope. Twitch Inspector's back to normal. I think Twitch Inspector's the problem. Twitch has been having a few issues recently, actually. Um, uh, the other day, Twitch was having this big issue with, um, uh, uh, video viewer counts. Uh, like, uh, there was one problem where you could have, like, seven people chatting, and the video, it would say you only had, like, two viewers, which is impossible. And there was another problem, just, like, a day ago or so, where you go to the VODs and just list no VODs, even if they have VODs. You have to, now, it'll list them if you go to, uh, specif specify, like, past broadcasts or highlights, but, like, it wouldn't list them at all unless you specified. Um, so Twitch has been having a lot of problems recently, uh, and maybe that's one of them. Does Twitch normally have technical issues? Twitch recently did a UI overhaul, and I think that's been causing some some poopy poops. Um, which, uh, uh, I, from my experience, Twitch, is, Twitch has been pretty good recently, but maybe their overhaul, they're still working out some kinks? I don't know. Um, hopefully, whatever problems they're having, they can resolve. But anyways, um, in the past, the Holy Grail Wars were terrible. Masters were driven by their desires, forgot their teachings as magic, and just killed each other indiscriminately. Uh, that's bad. Um, forgot their teachings as magic, um, just killed each other indiscriminately. Well, did they kill witnesses? I mean, how? Th that's that's the real bad thing. Did how much muggles did they involve that they then killed? I think that's the real crime. Well, technically, it's not. According to the Magic Society, it's okay to involve muggles as long as you kill them. But you know. 
魔術師にとって魔術を一般社会で使用することは第一の罪悪だ I thought earlier Shiro was talking. 魔術師は斧が正体を人々に知られてはならないのだからな Okay, his deep voice is great. This guy's deep voice is great, but I think I am kind of.、Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn off voices for the time being. It's just, it's just boring speeches, right? It's just boring speeches.、Um, uh, where's Shiro?、Uh, anyways,、um, Amagus cannot allow his identity to be revealed to the public. I think you already know it's the highest crime for Amagus to use his magic in public. Yeah, um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was I gonna say? Oh, God, I was gonna say something. Right.、Um, I think Shiro was whispering,、uh, was talking to himself earlier about how, like, Kiritsugu didn't like the magic community very much because、um, the magic community.、Um, oh, what was it? Oh, yeah.、Uh, it was something like how technically. Maybe this was just my interpretation and I was wrong, but it was something about how technically it's okay to let muggles see you use magic. The rule is that you have to kill them in the first place if they discover you.、Um, there is no rule saying you can't let people see you. Like, there's no harsh punishment for that's That was the thing. There's no harsh punishment for letting muggles see you use magic. There's just a punishment if you don't punish the muggles or something, which is kind of silly. Really, it should be the mages getting punished if they slip up and let muggles see them, but you know. Masters in the past have violated that. The Magic Association dispatched a supervisor to caution them, but they only made it in time for the Third Holy Grail War. The one dispatched then was my father. Do you want oh, he's talking. He's talking. I forgot. I turned voices off. <clears throat> I thought this was inner monologue. I'm like, wait, his father? Kiritsugu was a magic supervisor? The Magic Association dispatched a supervisor to caution them, but they only made it in time for the Third Grail War. So the first two were bloodsheds then? The one dispatched then was my father. Do you understand now, boy? Oh, I see. So your father was going on for the third and fourth, and you're here for the fifth.、Um, based on what Shiro said earlier in the prologue, Magi are a pretty shitty bunch. Well, yeah. <clears throat> I understand. We need a supervisor. Oh, bits are dipping.、Um, no. OBS says they're fine. Oh, that's always the struggle when, like, OBS says it's fine, but Twitch Inspector says it's pooping. I think I trust OBS more. Um, but, anyways, I, I think right for now, Twitch Inspector is just lying. Like a liar.、Um, anyways. From what you said, isn't this Holy Grail War fundamentally bad? Well, no, it's good because you win and then you get a wish. Yata! Oh, how is it bad? Because the past Magi were people who would break the rules of the Magi, right? Let's say this Holy Grail thing really exists. What will you do if the one who remains is someone who uses the Holy Grail selfishly? It's bad if such thing is obtained by someone who has no problems killing others. That is bad. Like, if a mass murderer gets it, they might use the Holy Grail like their wish. I mean, I don't know the extent of the wish, but maybe something like every time I kill someone,、um, uh, it. it It, it, the, the Grail cleans up the crime for me so that nobody is the wiser. Or every time a, I expose my magic accidentally to a muggle, the muggle just implodes in, in themselves. They just die without me even having to punish them. And the, their body is just swept away. It could be some selfish wish like that. And yeah, that's always an option. There will be those selfish masters out there. And that's why we gotta be the good guys who win and cure cancer or something. What? If it's the job of the association to look after Magi, then shouldn't you guys be punishing those kinds of people? Eh. I mean, once they have the Grail, I mean, if they suddenly are a plot twist bad guy at that point, they have the Grail, so nobody wants to fuck with them because they've got a wish. They could, like, wish you out of existence, maybe. I question with a little hope. <laughs> As I expected, Kotomi Nikire laughs. Of course not. There are no magi who will act outside their own interests. We only supervise the rules of the Holy Grail War. We do not care about what happens afterwards. The association is not concerned about the kind of person that obtains the Holy Grail. I mean, yeah. I mean, to be fair, they've only been doing this for three generations, right? The Grail Wars, they're, they're, still, they're still sort of babies at this, in a way. Only 200 years? It's a pretty small time.、Um, Like, the Grail's only been supervised for three generations. This is the third, and it's only been going on for five, so it's not surprised that there aren't that many rules in place yet. Give it time. Maybe by, like, the Tenth Grail War, there'll be some more stricter rules on stuff. Maybe. 
That's ridiculous. What if the master that obtains the Holy Grail is the worst guy possible? Well, don't let it be. Beat him. <laughs> It would be problematic, but we can do nothing. It is the Holy Grail that chooses its owner, and we do not have the power to stop a master who has been chosen by the Holy Grail. Magic is silly. It's a Grail that makes the wishes come true, after all. The one who obtains it will be able to do as he pleases. If you do not want that, then all you have to do is win it yourself! Uh, more goading him! First he was goading him by calling him a chicken, now he's goading him by saying, If you don't win, maybe a bad person will. That's the most reliable way, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Gosh. Um, but I mean, just let Rin win. She has no wish. I mean, she's not a, she doesn't have a good wish either, but at least she doesn't have a bad wish. So, just let her do it. <clears throat> you can bow out, right? Then again, if you and her work together with Saber on your side, that could really help out. Kotamini is trying to hold back his laughter. It's like he's enjoying my clumsy inability to accept the facts. Oh, not, it's not like it. I'm sure he is. What's wrong, boy? I think that was a good idea, so will you not accept it? Oh, he said boy. That means he probably said shonen. Are we going to get a rejoice shonen soon? <laughs> rejoice. Sh Yorokobe shonen. Will you not accept it? That's none of your beeswax. Anyway, that's none of your beeswax, old man. Get off my get, get off my arse. I'm am a hip kid. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna get on your lawn and like make the cool hand signs. Anyway, I don't have any reason to fight. I'm not even interested in the Holy Grail. Yeah, after all, I don't have a wish. What kind of stupid person would participate in a fight to the death without a wish, right? I mean, oh, <laughs> Rin's right there. I don't have any reason to fight. I'm not in uh, interested in the Holy Grail, and I don't feel like a master, even if you tell me I am. Oh, so you're not concerned about what the winner of the Holy Grail would do, even if it leads to disaster? <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> oh, you're great, but fuck you. That's... I can't answer that question. Crap, his words are violent. Now, if any, would be a time to be a hero, though, to be honest. I mean, sure, you might not have a wish, but at least if you win, a bad wish won't happen. That is one way to potentially be a hero, honestly. I mean, you don't have proof of a bad master yet, but I'm sure at least one or two of the masters are bad apples. Even if they can be converted with my penis. I mean... I mean the females, but also the males. I go both ways. I mean, I can, you know, to be a suit. I can, I can go both. I can save them with my penis. Even, e even if I don't go both ways, I will for the sake of the grail, my penis, for the sake of being a hero. One of multiple choice. You choose why I would, con anyways, his words are violent. They force the truth onto me, whether I want it or not. Yeah, Kirei has definitely um, gotten good at pressing the buttons, and he 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 loves it. This is the shit he gets off on. <laughs> uh, I enjoy characters like that. <clears throat> that's fine, but if you have no reason to, f uh, that's fine if you have no reason to fight. So you are not troubled by what happened ten years ago. Oh, and now are you gonna push the Kiritsugu button? That'll get him involved. <laughs> yeah, Kirei definitely has high charisma stats. Uh, I feel like he had a big switch from Fate Zero, though. I think, like, I think he had some kind of divine inf intervention. <laughs> it's funny, because he's a holy man. Um, because, like, ten years ago, I think his charisma was pretty meh. But it's definitely taken a big, big leap. He definitely picked some kind of charisma feat. I don't know off the top of my head what feat gives you a bunch of charisma at once. If there isn't one, then he made up one and took it. <laughs> oh, man. Are you really going to push the Kiritsugu button? That will get him to join. And I would not be mad at him for joining at that point, to be honest. I was going to say, like, if he had an option to back down and chose uh, chose not to because, like, he wanted he was a chicken or just because of a chance a villain might do it. But if he pushes the Kiritsugu button, I think that's a valid reason that I could see Shiro um, accepting without, you know, calling idiot button or for the sake of the plot or, or, or something like that. Mm. So you're not troubled by what happened 10 years ago? Ten years? Junen? Ten years ago? That's right. At the end of the last Holy Grail War, an unsuitable master touched the Holy Grail. I do not know what the master wished for. All we know is the result of the disaster that came afterwards. I mean... Okay. How... Alright. Is he lying? I'm not actually sure. Um... 
Uh, so, okay, I roughly think I remember roughly what he's talking about. But he's not talking about the person who won. Because Kirei won. Um, I've talked about this already at this point, so... Um, uh, I, I mean... I guess Kiritsugu touched it. I guess that counts. But, like, he wasn't supposed to? How did that work anyways? I forget exactly the... And don't answer that, that's right. Um, uh, I forget exactly, but... Um, uh, yeah, uh, I'm trying to remember. I think, like, Kiritsugu, I think, did end up touching it. But, like, isn't it a thing that only servants can touch it? So how did Kiritsugu touch it? I don't remember exactly how that works, but, um, yeah. Okay, I understand. Oh, because that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. It's like he touched it prematurely. He touched it before the war was over, and that's why it was sort of a no-no, I think. And that's why, um, that's why he's called, um... Oh, uh, Panana. Thank you, Panana, for following me. Hello, Panana. Uh, I was expecting when I saw the, the, the alert go off. I'm like, oh, in, in Uhanyu. Nope, not, not yet. But that, that's good. That means... Uh, uh, hello, Panana. Thank you, Panana. Hi there. <clears throat> I recognize that name. I recognize that name. Shoot, are you from... Are you from Dat Funky Night? Or am I remembering wrong? If I'm remembering wrong, I apologize. <clears throat> the name is familiar. Anyways... Uh, oh, and two at once! I Inuhanyu123, thank you for following as well. Oh. You are from Dat Funky Night. My long, my, my long con of uh, hanging out with Dat Funky Night has paid off. Uh, it was all part of my plan to steal all of his followers. I mean, borrow them. Anyways. Um... <clears throat> All we know is the results of the disaster that came afterwards. Yeah, so, yeah, so, right, right. So I wonder if Kira knows the truth or not. Either way, I'm sure that, uh, I'm sure that Kira would, Kira would take advantage of the situation best he can to, to ruffle, uh, Shiro's feathers, but, um, I'm, I wonder if he actually knows the specifics. I don't think he does. Unless he learned it when he got the grail? Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe that was his wish. <laughs> That'd be funny. What did Kiritsugu wish for? I could see that. Based on how much... Because this guy, I feel like he he just... Oh, I don't know. He likes getting inside people's heads. And when he, can't, when he doesn't think he can, he wants to. So I could see that of being his, his, the most boring-ass wish. What was his wish? Uh, I wish to know what his wish was. What a stupid wish. Anyways, dash, 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 dash. Very big mood. Yeah. For an instant. That image of hell flashes in my head. Also, I broke the streak, guys. Like, for like a month straight. I was only ever getting followers between streams. I got two followers during the stream. Yatta! <laughs> Anyways. For an instant, that image of hell flashes in my head. <clears throat> Hold on, that can't be... It is. It is an event that everybody in this town knows about, Emiya Shiro. Oh, that's right, that's right, Shiro doesn't know. He knew about the fire, but he didn't know that it was caused by the Grail. I understand, this should be new information, I apologize, I've seen Fate Zero. <clears throat> 500 killed or wounded. Uh -huh. 500 killed or wounded. 134 buildings burned down. That inferno still explains the remains of the Holy Grail War. Dash, dash, dash. That would definitely trigger Shiro's buttons and get him to want to join. I'm glad he didn't join just because he was called a chicken. Because that would have been dumb. I feel sick. My vision blurs. I lose concentration. I can't focus my eyes. My body stumbles. Are you going to remember your parents? No, no, no. No, still not enough to make you remember your parents. I hold myself firm. With how little he's talked about it, maybe he does have a surprise sibling. And he's just, like, forgotten all about them. I am your twin. I'm evil, Shiro. No. I mean, obviously he has the surprise sibling that, that we do know about from Fate Zero, but he might have a second alternate surprise sibling. Double surprise sibling. Threesome. Except, no, wait, because two of us would actually be related. I hold myself firm. I hold on to consciousness by clenching my teeth. 
Not your butt? Clench your butt! Get your butts clenched! I hold back my nausea with the anger boiling up in me. Emiya-kun, what's wrong? You're pale white. I know it's not a comfortable story, but if you want, we can take a rest for a while. Yeah, maybe maybe it's time for a short rest. He took some psychic damage just now, clearly, from just from all that exposure. He, uh, he's still a low-level character, clearly, so he probably can't afford to take much more damage. You need to take a short rest, roll some hit dice. I must have looked terrible. I think it's very rare for Tosaka to be worried like that. Daijobu, Daijobu, don't worry. I feel better after seeing your weird face. <laughs> your weird face, that's so great. Uh. I'd say don't ever change, Shiro, but that's not true. Change enough to know when a girl wants you and to want them back. And change enough to know that Shinji's a dick and punch him in the face. And don't feel bad about it because he's a dick. <laughs> when written his word, you know, it's serious. Uh, <clears throat> hey, just what is that supposed to mean? Oh, oh, that's a new face, I think. You know, even when you're worried, that looks attractive. Her other face didn't look very attractive. I like this sprite, though. That, that you know, that worried, but also, mmm, that sprite. I like that sprite. Oh, I have no hidden intentions. I meant it literally, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I just meant that you literally look weird. Well, fine. Gosh, what a bit. <laughs> that really was rude. He's so blunt. I love it. <clears throat> hey, hey, uh, that's worse, you big oaf. <laughs> it's worse when you don't have ulterior motives. Have ulterior motives! The school's number one honor student, Tosakarin, smacks me in the head. He was already damaged. Oh, damn. Take one more point of damage. I doubt Rin's a monk, so you only have to take one damage from that, probably. But, uh, <laughs> uh... Oh, is that what does it? That knocks you over the edge? You, maybe that knocks you unconscious? Like you had one hit point left after the psychic damage? And it knocks you unconscious? Rip Shiro! So, somebody save him before he makes too many death saving throws. I guess he probably had already made, failed two death saves when Rin brought, brought him back from the brink. Or maybe Rin used Revivify. <laughs> he was only just barely dead. How many D&D jokes will I make before I actually play D&D? <clears throat> With that, the nausea and anger go away. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Nah, sure, I wouldn't say gozaimasu. Arigato. Uh, you really did help, so don't bully me too much. I have a few more things to ask about. Mm, oh, and that, at that, she blushes. <laughs> she looks like she hasn't hit me enough, but she still lets me continue. Uh... Shoot, I don't remember what domo means. I know dozo is like, please. I, I know there's there's the whole domo origato visto robato. I know that joke, but I don't remember what domo actually means. But I'll pretend I do, and then look it up later, and then I won't look stupid. Oh yeah, domo, of course. What? <clears throat> uh, all right, all right. Let out, uh, oh, you have you still have questions? All right, let out everything you want to say. He should know what I want to ask. Yet he asks me to ask anyways. What to ask her? Domo is like really informal. Thank you. Like thanks. Domo. Oh, I'm just used to arigato personally as the informal version of arigato gozaimasu, but I guess you could get even more informal and go dono, so, or domo, not dono, that means you don't know something. Uh, no, dono is actually a respectful term, that's right. Um, uh, not to be confused with domo, or the English don't know, dono, uh, I forget what it means exactly, but it is a suffix you can use with someone. Um, I think in olden times it was used, dono, and it was used for, like, um, respected, um, noble house individuals, um, but it's kind of out of use in modern times, but it was used back then, I think? Anyways, uh, or maybe I'm talking to my butt right now. Anyways, he should know what I want to ask. He asked me to go on. Fine! Shiro Emiya won't lose to you, and neither will Emiya Shiro, I'll ask. You said this is the fifth Holy Grail war. Then, has anyone ever obtained the Holy Grail? I mean, yeah. Uh, Emmy, I don't know. I assume, like, um, three or four people have. Kire obtained it, right? I mean, I don't know if he did anything with it, but I think he obtained it. Of course, a sad event like that annihilation doesn't happen every time. Or did he not get to obtain it? Oh, is that what happened? I hadn't thought of it like that before, because Kiritsugu 
because he sort of did his wish thing, and uh, even though it didn't really happen the way he wanted, um, did that mean that he'd already use up the one human wish? Because like each the hum each partner gets a wish. The human gets a wish, and the servant gets a wish, I believe. So maybe he'd already used up the master wish. So Kira didn't get to use a wish. So um, I suppose only Archer got to use a wish. Ugh. I wonder what Archer wished for. Wait, I forget. Did we find out? I don't remember. <clears throat> Anyways, then... Do not be hasty. It is easy just to obtain it. After all, the Holy Grail is managed in this church. If you speak of just touching it, I... Wait, 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 you touch it every day! Giggity! Don't be hasty. It is easy to obtain it. After all, the Holy Grail is managed by this church. If you speak of just touching it, I touch it every day. Bow and chicka bow and bow. That's right. I touch your daddy every day. I touch where your daddy touched. We touch the same... We, we, we're, we're putting our dinguses in the same hole. Oh, yeah. I mean... I mean, what? That's gross. Does that make the Holy Grail a shitty lock? To use the analogy that is extremely sexist, you know, if you if you're a guy that bangs a lot of girls, you're a master key. If you're a girl that gets banged alive by a lot of guys, you're a shitty lock. That's a terrible analogy, but uh, anyways. <clears throat> anyways, huh? Oh yeah, Kira loves the touching. Super canon. Kira puts his wang it all the time. The Holy Grail is at this church. Of course, it is only the vessel. It is empty. Rin said it earlier that the Grail, Holy Grail is in spirit form. Oh. Oh, it's the vessel. So, like, Holy Grail is like a ghost. And, like, we need to summon it. Oh, we're using it as, like, an anchor? Is that what we're doing? Where the seven of us will summon the Grail and the spirit will show up and use the actual Grail you're keeping here as, like, an anchor point and go into the Grail you're keeping so that everybody... Everybody wins and everybody can use the grail potentially. I think I get it. So like I understand so if we touch it now it does nothing But like later on once there's a winner then it'll become It'll it, the spirit will go inside the grail. So is that done to keep the grail from um, popping everywhere like if If um, maybe you didn't have the anchor point it would just go in some random location So this makes it easier to track down maybe 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 What we maintain is a well-made replica of the Holy Grail. We use that as a catalyst to draw down the real Holy Grail. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. I'm smartical. And transfer- I mean, I'm totally humble. I don't ever think I'm smart about anything. Baka, I'm a Baka. I mean, not. I'm, I'm pretty smart. I'm pretty great. <laughs> I got, like, straight C's on all my tests. <laughs> mm. uh, unless it was math. Then I got B's. No, actually, I got pretty... I got straight A's in math for a while until late high school when I stopped kind of caring about all... The, I never liked graphs, and then I started to get B's. Um, anyways. <clears throat> uh, we use this as a catalyst to draw down the real Holy Grail uh, and transform it into a grail that grants wishes. It's like the relationship between servants and masters. Yes, there was indeed a man who obtained the real Holy Grail temporarily using that method. Only once? Uh, I'm smartical? Oh, have you never heard that before? I feel like I've said I'm smartical a lot. I feel like I've used the term smartical a lot. But I guess, um, I don't know. I don't know when I started saying smartical, but I've said it for a long time now. I'm not sure if I got that from someone or invented it. It's been so long. Um, I never really say dumbical, though. <laughs> um, my understanding is that the vessel acts as a cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was never good at math. I envy you. <clears throat> oh, yeah, math is, math was always my thing. What it was, I've talked about this before, but like, math was my thing. Ma that was the one thing I got straight A's in, essentially. But then my brother, it, it always felt kind of, ugh, because um, my, my brother would get A's in like everything generally. Um, but he would get like perfects in math. And so I was always, it always felt like, I don't know, it just, at a certain point I'm like, people would be like, oh, of course you did good at math. You're his brother, not, um, oh, you're so good at math. Um, so, <laughs> I had a bit of a, a, a complex about it, <laughs> but it's okay. <clears throat> I don't really mind anymore. There was a time, though, where it bugged me. <clears throat> anyways. <clears throat> uh, anyways, there's a man indeed who attained the Holy Grail, temporarily using this method. Then, was the Holy, that Holy Grail real? No, what happened to the guy who obtained it? Um, the guy who obtained it, are we talking about Kiritsugu or Kirei, or are we talking about the first three Grail Wars? 
Nothing. The Holy Grail was imperfectly completed. It was the result of a foolish man affected by sentiment. So we're talking about Kiritsugu. I think. I think. I think that's what we're talking about. Unless there was some other similar circumstance in one of the other Three Grail Wars. But wait, so, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do not be hasty. It's easy to obtain it. Um... There was indeed a man. Was there ever a Wu man? So, what about the first Three Grail Wars? You're saying no one ever touched it? What do you mean? Did those end inconclusively as well? No, because, like, the fourth one ended inconclusively, sort of, sort of inconclusively, because Kiritsugu touched it, and that's what caused it to end inconclusively. Therefore, shouldn't there have been a winner in the first three wars? Or were they all stalemates, where the last two killed each other and nobody won? Eh? Are they? With the previous pr pressure gone, the priest narrows his eyes as if in regret. What do you mean? Didn't the Holy Grail appear? It is easy to just make the Holy Grail appear. Once the seven servants are present, the Holy Grail will appear in time. As Rin said, there is no need to kill other masters. Okay. But that does not complete the Holy Grail. That thing decides its own appropriate master. And for that reason, it could not be obtained by a man who avoided battles. Oh. Oh. Wait. Okay, so the Grail is like... The Grail is kind of omnipresent. The Grail enjoys a good show. So it's like Cabin in the Woods. Sort of. Okay, this is a weird analogy. I really like Cabin in the Woods. Um, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of horror in general, but I love Cabin in the Woods' uh, mockery of everything horror. It's, celebra it's also a celebration of everything horror. But anyways, um, it's sort of like how... I don't want to get into that in case you haven't seen it. But, um, so the Holy Grail wants a battle, essentially. They're, they're not going to be satisfied to just give themselves to any loser of the seven that summoned it. They want to see a good battle, and they want to see the winner, and they're only going to give themselves to the winner. Um, <laughs> so if, if, if the Grail War sucks, basically, if they don't think it was very entertaining, then they're not going to give themselves to anyone. So is what you're saying in the first three wars... It, w it was shitty battles, or maybe the winner was a coward who hided until, like, the very end and only sniped the last person who actually did some real winning, and so because of that, nobody actually got awarded the Grail? Like, somebody won, but the Grail was like, you suck, and didn't give a wish? Because that seems very rude of the Grail. Um, okay. And so, are we saying the man who touched it, is that from one of the first three wars or are we talking about Kiritsugu because he did not avoid battle he did some stuff he took out some other people um so I think it's to be fair the grail war hadn't been decided yet but still he did take out some people already um so I think he, I wouldn't call him a coward at least not in that sense I guess he was a coward in the sense that he tried to obtain it before the battle was officially over I forget the specifics of that but yeah So that just means it's useless to obtain the Holy Grail without settling matches with the other masters. Yeah, the Grail loves to get out that popcorn. <clears throat> I wonder if it's like, it's ketchup flavored. I love doing that back in the day with movies. I would go to movies and I'd get my popcorn and they'd have like these little ketchup packets. And I'd put like the ketchup, it's like ketchup fl flavoring and I'd love the ketchup popcorn. Recently when I went to movies, uh, more recently, I don't go to movies nearly as much as I used to. Generally just stay home and watch them on Netflix. But, um... Occasionally, I go maybe once or twice to the movies uh, these days. Uh, once or twice a year, I mean. Uh, I used to go more like once uh, every month or two. Now it's more like once or twice a year. Um, uh, but more recently, they haven't really had the ketchup packets, which have been like, oh, And so my popcorn experience has been less fun. Anyways, um, <clears throat> it just means it's useless to obtain the Holy Grail without settling matches with other masters. The master who obtained the Holy Grail first in the last war was just a chicken. He just ran away from the Holy Grail, saying that he didn't want to fight other masters. Uh, butter popcorn here. No. Wait, you didn't want to fight other masters? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, like, I'm not paying attention. I'm thinking too much about popcorn. The master who obtained the Holy Grail first in the last war, so you mean the fourth war, was a chicken. That is not true. Do not insult my husbando, Father-O. Father-O? What would you call that? The father I'd like to... The father I wish was still alive because he was a cool bro. Um, Kiritsugu. <clears throat> he just ran away from the Holy Grail, saying that he didn't want to fight other masters. 
Well, okay, it wasn't, okay, it wasn't that simple, Rin, you're, you're, you're generalizing. Um, I, I guess I'll talk a little bit about this, um, oh, hey, Ray 9 k oh, gosh, we're getting all kinds of new people. Hello, just a reminder, this, um, world doesn't revolve around the Grail Wars. Well, sure, but, like, you know, maybe the world doesn't, but the narrative does, so ha 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 ha. Um, anyways, though, uh, I, Rin could very well be assuming this, but, um, oh gosh, so many comments, I'm not used to it, I gotta focus, focus! Um, <clears throat> man who obtained the Holy Grail first in the last war was just a chicken. Um, I, I understand, based on the circumstances, you could, from an outsider's perspective, I could see why the assumption was made that Kiritsugu was a chicken. But to get a little bit into zero spoilers, from what I remember, um, Kiritsugu tried to use the Grail, I think, and then the Grail didn't like him or something, or something. Um, and so, uh, essentially, how, how was it? Gosh, yeah, it was like, he wanted to do a wish, and then the Grail was like, okay, how do you do it? Yeah, that's right, the Grail wanted to know how Kiritsugu wanted to do the wish, and Kiritsugu couldn't answer? So, like, the Grail's finicky with wishes? Or something like that. And that pissed Kiritsugu off, I think. I think. And that's what ended up leading into the big accident. Uh, don't tell. That's okay. Uh, if I don't remember what happened in Fate Zero, let's just pretend I just, let's just don't know. Um, that's the most of what I remember from how that went down in Fate Zero. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's the most of what I remember. And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, I wouldn't call it a chickenish act, but I guess from an outsider perspective, it could be a chickenish act. So let's just keep, let's just, uh, Rin, you're a chicken. You don't even have a wit. Well, actually, it's the opposite of a chicken. You could argue, well, okay, if you have a wish, you could be a chicken who gets involved in the fight because you're brave. But if you don't have a wish and get involved, you definitely can't be a chicken because you didn't have a wish. Therefore, you're getting involved in a fight just for the fight's sake. So I guess you at least have that going, right? No one can call you a chicken. So saying, Tosaka looks away from Kotomine. No way. Does that mean Kotomine was one of the masters in the last war, and that he retired because he refused to fight in spite of obtaining the Holy Grail? Huh? How did you come to that conclusion? Okay, maybe I'm... Okay, let's turn the voices back on. I feel like I'm losing myself here. <laughs> uh... Hold on, what? How did he come to that conclusion? I mean, he's right, but how did he come to that conclusion? I mean, he's not completely right. Master obtained the Holy Grail in the last war. Saying Tosaka looks away from Kotomine. Oh, oh, is Tosaka saying Kire is the, is the coward? Oh, oh, did Kire tell Rin that? Did Kire tell her about ex his experiences with the Grail War? I, he probably kept some things to himself, though. Does that mean Kotomine was one, was one of the masters in the last war and that he retired because he refused to fight in spite of obtaining the Holy Grail? No, that's not what happened, but sure. Kotomine. I don't think that's quite true. He won, sort of. It was, his, it, was, it was your daddy that was the chicken, but Kotomine won't say that. So they're probably just keeping this vague on purpose because... They're keeping it incorrect and vague and misinformation on purpose because the player doesn't know any better and it's leading them down different red flags until Shiro actually finds out the truth, which will be a plot twist that I will see coming because I already see it coming. Who do you think Rin's source of information for the Fourth War is? I mean, Kire, that makes sense, yeah. It'd be interesting for you to go back and watch Fate Zero after reading this. I know you're technically supposed to do this first, but, you know, I mean... You know. <sighs> okay, are you lying or are you telling the truth here? I did until halfway. You didn't fight? I did until halfway. Uh, if by halfway you mean when there was like two or three people left. Well, I guess three people, half of seven rounded down is. Anyways. Um, but I made a bad decision. As a result, I only obtained an empty Holy Grail. Huh? 
Nandeska? I made a bad decision. You did? What was the bad decision? You mean... Well, okay. I'm a little confused now. Oh, you know what? Okay, I could see that, actually. Because... Because, um... Kiritsugu sort of won in the fight with Kire, but, like... But, like, it, the fight wasn't quite over yet. Or something. And that's how he obtained the Grail? Or something. And so, maybe the Grail looked down on Kire. Because Kiritsugu won that fight. But then, once he realized that... that he didn't like the, what the Grail was asking of him. So Kirei won, but then... But he didn't really win, because Kiritsugu sort of won, and so maybe the Grail was like, No, you suck, Kirei, and so didn't give him his wish, based on the idea that the Grail is its own entity that is very judgmental. I could see that. I could see that. As a result, I only obtained an empty Holy Grail. I'm not sure if he's fully being truthful here, but I guess that's also could sort of be true. Does that mean you never actually got a wish? I assumed you didn't have one. Oh, oh I get it. You're lying. I understand. You're talking... Okay, I understand. I guess that was my limit anyway, because the other masters were all monstrous. I lost my servant first and was taken under my father's protection. I understand. So that was the lie that was going on in Fate Zero. That they had this whole plan. I forget what how it was supposed to work exactly, but there was a bit of a con where they pretended to get Kire pretended to lose first, and so he's just going along with that lie. I understand. <clears throat> Anyways, I think he still did he still technically lose his servant first? Wait. Because, like, he pretended to have his servant die first, but they didn't actually die. But his servant did actually die pretty early on. Um, I forget if it was first, though. Well, I'm trying to remember. Wait, I'm trying to remember. I'm remembering now. I remember who the last four were. I forget the order of the other three. Um, I think it was first, despite that. Like, he faked death, but then his first... I think his servant still actually died first. I think. I think. Anyways... <clears throat> Come to think of it, it was inappropriate for a son of the supervisor to be chosen as a master. I mean, yeah, but that was like a plot or something. Or something. There was some big plan going on that's been forever and I don't remember, but there was some complicated plan. And Rin's father was in on it. Father died at that time. Since then, I have succeeded the role of the supervisor, and I protect the Holy Grail at this church. I think there's also this thing about how, right, his father died, and he didn't kill his father, but he wanted to, right? Yeah, someone else killed his father, but he wanted to kill his father, I think, was a thing with him. He has daddy issues. That, that's the kind of thing that will turn you into a serial killer. Like when you want to kill a specific person and this, someone else beats you to it, that's the kind of thing will, that will turn someone into a serial killer who kills a bunch of people that are like that person, but it'll never quite satisfy their quench because they can never truly kill that person. Anyways, <clears throat> I protect the Holy Grail at this church. Saying that, the priest called Kotomi Nikiri turns around. Before him stands the symbol of worship. <laughs> That is the end of our conversation. Man,あれ、あれ。Oh, I really took my sweet time getting through this whole conversation. <laughs> oh, the only ones qualified to obtain the Holy Grail are those who have servants. When there is only one of you left, the Holy Grail should naturally appear in front of you. Appear in front of my servant, right? The servant's the only one who can normally take it, and then they pass it off to their master. I think is the normal process, but that's not what Kiritsugu did. He cheated somehow. Tell me your decision, as if you want to join this battle. The Holy Grail won now. 
And of course, you've already coaxed him in with the whole 10 years ago thing, so you got him hook, line, and sinker. The priest requests my final decision. Dash, dash, dash. I'm at a loss for words. Oh, really? Because I, Renegade, have just been spouting them nonstop. I had no reason to fight until just now. Now I have a reason to fight and a will to fight. And I can get all the ladies in all of the pathways. Can I really accept that? Well, I don't know. Are you still undecided? Still a chicken? I have this thing, right, where I can't take Kotomini's voice seriously. His voice actor is like a personal meme for me. His Japanese one? Um, I really liked his English um, one, but I, I like this one too. Um, it'll be interesting. Um, but anyways, yeah. It's interesting to think of what Crispin Freeman would sound like giving this speech. And he probably did. I think they got the same actors for the newer Fates Day Night anime dub. But, um... It does sound a little too deep, but <clears throat> I can see why it's kind of memey, but I like it. いいか。マスターというものは成ろうとして慣れるものではない。そこにいる林は長く魔術師として修練してきたが、だからといってマスターになるのが決定されていたわけではないのだ。Look, a master is not something you can be just because you want to. Rin has been training long as a master, but it was not determined that she would be a master. Huh? Wait. Rin's been training long as a master, but it was not determined. What? But it is. Because she is. Wait, what? I'm confused. All that could be decided beforehand was whether to prepare for it or not. Prepare for the possibility of her being a master? I thought she trained her whole life to be a master. Huh? And this guy? I'm confused. I think she trained her whole life as a master, but it wasn't guaranteed she'd be a master. But because of how hard she trained, it affirmed her position as being a master. Oh. Okay, what's the difference between Magi and Magus? Is there a difference? Are these different terms? I want, I want my Steinsgate phone book, or my, like, or my iSomnium files list of all of these terms that I can look up at any time, goddammit. <laughs> uh, only Magi are chosen to be masters. If you are a Magus, you should have already, you should have been ready already. He's referring to the fact that Grail ultimately chooses masters. So you can train and have the catalyst be the Grail and turn around and be like, nah. Sure. <laughs> If they're the same terms, why do they use different words? Inu Hanyu? Inu Hanyu. Gosh, I see that and I just want to say Inu Yasha. Would that be offensive? <laughs> I guess it can not, not be helped if you are not. You and your teacher were failures in that case. Oh, throwing some salt on my father? Fuck you. It's merely annoying for such a magus to be fighting, so get rid of your command spell now. It's annoying? Wait, now you're goading me out of it? What the hecky heck? Oh, let me guess. Now that you understand that I'm, I'm totally committed, now is when you're going to push my buttons to get me extra motivated because... What you know that I don't know is that you know my father. And so you're saying this as a general term, but you know that I know that you know that I know that that's going to piss me off because I don't know that you know that I know that you know that I know that Kiritsugu is my father. What? <clears throat> Anyways, uh, Magus is singular, Magi is plural. My SN is based on Inuyasha anyway. <laughs> uh, SN, SN, SN. Um... I may, I'm, I'm not the best when it comes to vernacular and what things stand for. SN? Steam network account? Steam name. Steam? Are you talking about Steam? I'm just, I'm just throwing, I'm throwing poop at the wall and seeing what sticks. Screen name. Oh, screen name on what? Not here. <laughs> uh, Inu Hanyu. One, two, three. What happened to the first 122? I only had to kill 66 people to get my way. But you looked like you had to have a much lo longer, harder battle. I mean, what? Anyways, get rid of your command spell now. <laughs> he doesn't need to ask. 
Oh, sh fuck, what? You, what? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? 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 <clears throat> Can we be pussies? For reals, though? I doubt it. Choice time! I mean, it's not the first choice, but I guess it's the first choice in um, <laughs> uh, the Grail War proper. Uh, Inu Hanyu is dog demon. They say it a lot in Japanese Inuyasha dub. I never saw Inuyasha in Japanese. Gosh, I will say this. I freaking love Ocean Group and everything they dub, and it's completely coincidental that they happen to be a Canadian company, and they're like the Canadian dub company, and I'm Canadian. Completely coincidental, but I love them as a group. Um... And uh, everything they dub, I'm like, if I find out they dubbed it, I'm like, definitely won't watch the Japanese of that. Don't want to miss out on the chance to watch an Ocean Group dub. They dub things so rarely these days. <clears throat> I recommend doing the first choice here just to see what it's like. Well, I will choose myself. Never backseat game, man. I can choose the choices myself, man. Maybe I'll just be contrary and choose the second choice. Save. <clears throat> You know, I was thinking about revoking the command spell, but now that you said that, <laughs> I am that kind of person, though. If somebody asks me to be like, you should do this choice, I'm totally the person who'll do the other choice. But, unless you're trying to reverse psychology me, because I'll know. Probably. Maybe. Maybe I won't. Shit. I shouldn't have told them. <clears throat> Anyways, though. Uh, revoke the command spell or fight. Do I revoke the command spell or do we fight? Um... Okay, let's role play as Shiro. Um, I mean, your name is Renegade. I'm a renegade! Ugh. Renegade spelt with an I, spelt incorrectly. That's how much of a renegade I am. I don't even spell correctly. Yeah! <clears throat> um, all right, let's see here. Uh, do we revoke the command spell or do we fight? What do we want to do? If I'm role playing as Shiro, what do I think Shiro would do? Technically, I guess that's why they're giving you the option because Shiro's undecided and he could do either one. But, um... Jeez, provoke the command spell. Would that just lead to a bad ending? Or like, it would just lead to boring, boring game over. Like, congratulations, you lived happily ever after and nothing interesting ever, ever happened in your life. Or like a bridge dropped on you on your way home. Um, I'm, I'm curious. I actually am genuinely curious what happens if I say this. Is it like... I hope it's a legitimate bad game over. Or not bad game over, but wrong game over. Wrong ending. Um, and it's not just Shiro in his head being like, no, that's stupid. Because if that's the case, they shouldn't be giving me this choice. So I'm going to say revoke the command spell because I am curious. I can't approve of this. Is this a legitimate path? Such dirty killings are wrong. Shiro died in the crossfire of someone's noble phantasm. Yep, <laughs> happy ending. <clears throat> The soundtrack? Uh, honestly, I haven't had any distaste for this soundtrack particularly, but nothing I don't think it stuck out to me particularly. I mean, I don't dislike it. No, wait, that's not true. I think I like the fighty song, the song that plays when they were fighting. Yeah, I, I remember Archer and Lancer fighting. The fighty song? I like the fighty song. Uh, there's no particular track that I dislike, but it's not like a popping... I guess to be fair, it's not the type of video game to have constant popping tracks. It gets in your brain after a while. Mm. Uh, what's wrong? Will you fight or not? State now, Emi Ashiro. Are you gonna be a little bitch? I chose the bitch path. We're being a bitch. He doesn't even need to ask me. I. I won't fight. I'll abandon my rights as a master. I, I so badly. I want to get, like, credits. I want to happily ever after credits. <laughs> um, I look directly at the priest and answer. Oh, what does Rin think about... Wait, she's... What, what's that facial expression going on with Rin? It's like she was blushing and she was looking at me and now she's... Her, her face is more downtrod. What, what is this... What is this mix of emotions going on with Rin here? So, I thought that... She would want me to say, okay, two minds. Either I say no, and I could, like, maybe pass on Saber. To, I guess you can only have one servant at a time. But I could pass on my command seals to her. Um, she should be happy that the person she saved isn't someone she has to fight. But maybe she was hoping we could have a partnership. But that's not thinking long term, because we'd still have to sort of fight each other at some point. But, like, she's blushing and looks downtrodden. She looks sad. So, 
It's probably conflicting emotions. I see. I'm disappointed. But it is the Master's will. Emi Yashiro has abandoned his rights as a Master and will withdraw from the Holy Grail War. Is that acceptable, Rin? Can we, can we at least give her my uh, command seals? I think that's uh, doable. <laughs> you just go... I'm disappointed. You just goaded him into quitting. Well, I mean... I doubt he was, I mean, he did just goat me into quitting, but I don't think he was actually goading me into quitting. I think he was goading me into getting pissed for the sake of my father because he just dissed my father. But um, we didn't take it that way, clearly. Is that acceptable, Rin? Ally of Justice? Nah, it's okay. I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh! in a while. What? Uh, the priest suggests is Tosaka, not me. Kamawanai wa? I don't care, Baka idiot. I'm not super sad. I didn't want to be like sex partners with him for life. That's Emiya's choice. I can't say anything about it. Gosh, idiot. I could still give you my command spells if it makes you feel better. I think you can do that. You can like transfer them, right? Because if I'm getting rid of them, can't, can't you transfer spells? I think that's a thing. Like if I'm going to get rid of them anyways, I think you're allowed to transfer spells. Um, I think something like that is possible. <laughs> That way she'd have four. I'll take that sense of guilt as a yield. <laughs> yeah, Saber is going to be super pissed. <laughs> uh, are you kidding me? I just got my second, my second chance and I'm already fucked. That's it, Shiro. Die. <laughs> mm, she's going to thrust me. All right. <laughs> Eat him? No, it's going to be more sexual than that. Ghosts eat people? Uh, that's more of a zombie thing. That's completely prejudice. That's racist against different undeads. Not un all undeads are the same. You think all undeads look alike? You think just because undead zombies like eating people, that means undead ghosts like eating people? Rude. Gosh, Inu Hanyu. should ban you for your prejudice. I'm just kidding. I have to be careful when I say things like that, because <laughs> I have moderators now. I'm sure he, I'm sure, my, I'm sure my moderator wise fool. I sure you, I'm sure you get the joke, but just to be safe. Anyways, <clears throat> um, anyways, uh, then let us uh, begin right away. <laughs> Apologize to the zombie god. Oh gosh, what what zombie gods exist in Dungeons and Dragons? I'm not sure. Yeah, they eat people's souls. That's true. Zombies eat people literally. Ghosts eat people spiritually so he'd like she'd like eat my arm but it wouldn't actually eat my arm it'd be like in naruto when when um when 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 like without getting too much into the specifics of this when the one guy he's ripping out the soul of another guy but like he doesn't go all the way he only gets the arms he only eats the soul's arms because souls have arms so like she'll probably take a nibble on my soul arms just hope she doesn't nibble on my soul brain and i'd be brain dead i'd have like an intelligence of of one anyways <clears throat> Let's begin right away, Amyashiro. Put out your left arm. Fine, but what are you going to do? Should be quick. It should be Hayaku. I'm merely erasing the command spell on your arm. Erasing it? Can't you transfer it? Can I give them to Rin? I volunteer as tribute. Master or Master Tarashimete, you're in my fatsar. There are two factors causing masters to masters. Can't I also let Rin use Saber at this point? I mean, Archer would be pissed in that case. But can't we do like a... If Rin forfeits her right to Archer, which Archer would be pissed, but can't he like trade over Saber to Rin? Because if Rin really wants Saber, I think that's doable. Um, there are two factors causing masters to be masters. <laughs> One is the contract with the servant, and the other is the command spell on your arm. You will be freed from the Holy Grail War if you lose both of these. The priest takes my left hand, my left arm hand, and my left hand arm. Oh, you didn't even lie. This will hurt. Try to relax. Just think of it like going to the doctor, only uh, much more painful. With a plunge. Oh, an actual syringe. And I cut off his arm. 
He cut off my arm! He sinks his fingers mercilessly into my arm. Ah! Ah! Can't you do this pain more painlessly? You probably enjoy this, don't you, you dick? My body jerks in pain. You're not going to use a scalp or something? With a sound, someone's fingers enter my arm. Oh! God, that's gross. It's not an illusion. I'll get an actual blood uh, crest in place of where the old magic crest was. If this, there were an illusion, it was that of my arm being broken. In reality, there isn't a scratch on my arm. It's just a flesh wound. Oh, a very painful flesh wound. A stranger's fingers moving through my flesh. Oh, oops. <laughs> Accidental right click. They're not a stranger. What are you talking about? You know Kire. His name is Kire. He says, yes, it's just the priest's fingers, which are transparent like a ghost, are sinking in my arm. Oh, I thought that I thought when somebody penetrated me, I would enjoy the experience. Not like this. Not like this. <clears throat> I need an adult. I am an adult. Oh! I need a waifu. Done. The operation was successful. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Can I go home now? I look at my left arm. There are no wounds on my arm and only pain remains. So much pain. In exchange for that unpleasantness. The command spell in my hand has changed shape. Interesting. It's like not red anymore. But there's still one that's red. Two, it's like two of them got used up, but the third remains? The shape's changed. No. Is it that there's fewer strokes on it now? Yes, there are three strokes for the command spell. Kiri took two of those out from you, like a spiritual doctor who removes the infected part without hurting the body. So I have to remove the last one myself? Can he give those to can Rin? Can I volunteer to give them to Rin? No? Maybe if I was going to do... Wouldn't she bring that up that that's a possibility? Because I think it's a possibility. I'm pretty sure you can transfer command spells. Normally you wouldn't want to because you're enemies. But in this case, if I'm bowing out, I don't know. Spiritual doctor? If it makes you feel any better, Rin, I would have liked you to have them. Or maybe my sister? My sister's gonna be pissed. Maybe that's how I'll die. When she finds out I bowed out, she's like, Oh, I waited to kill you for nothing. I'll just kill you now. <laughs> uh, um, uh, uh, sorry, sister from another mother. <clears throat> and father. I think that's a special magic who heals the body by treating the spirit. I hear their magic is a curse that can remove the infected part without using a single surgical knife on the body. Oh, so they're like... Is this like what they talk about when they're like, I want to get a non-regular treatment. I want to go for more, you know, you know, the treatments where they, you know, just put some leaves over your body and then suddenly you're cured. Um, maybe they're all secretly magic, or at least the good ones. I'm surprised. Spiritual treatment is an unusual act used in uncivilized areas. Is an unusual act used in uncivilized areas. So uncivilized. What are you talking about? It's, I mean, it's, the civilized areas can use lightsabers just fine. I mean, um, no, wait, the guns were uncivilized. Never mind. <clears throat> it's not something a man of the church should know. So you know. <laughs> Don't say that. I was unfit to be a priest the moment I took up magic. It should not matter if the kind of magic I know is unfit for a priest. Do not worry about the type. We're kind of alike in that sense. It was the only thing I was good at. I learned many magics, but this was the one that, uh, this was the only one that fits me. We're kind of alike. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you're saying, um, I know it's a magic that doesn't fit me at all, but it's my best magic. That's, that's like Shiro. He uses strengthening magic. Granted, for you, you're, you can do plenty. That's just what you're best at. For me, like, this is all I can do. So it's a bit different, but, you know. High five? 
良くも悪くも傷を開くことに特化しているおかげで他の魔術の腕はそこの弟子にさえ遅れを取る始末 My magical attribute is specialized in opening wounds For good or bad, thanks to that I am inferior to even my student over there I think you're selling yourself short I think that can be used for all kinds of fancy wancy stuff I don't think here the supervisor would approve of Rin getting free command spells Soul? You can have soul? It's fair! Look, fair is fair. She she saved my life. It's not it, it's not free. You want to look at it this way. It, this cost her something. First of all, she saved my life. Second of all, she informed me about how this grail war worked when I was completely um unknown. Third of all, she took me here in the first place when again I didn't even know that there was an overseer. She did a lot to facilitate this. I think it's fair that I can transfer the command seals to her. I think that it's saying that it's free isn't really true. It was just paid for in an unorthodox method. I think he would help if Rin actually spoke up about the option, but maybe she's too proud. Like, no, I can do it with just com one command seal. I'm good. Um, thanks to that, I'm inferior to even my student over there. I kind of doubt that, but sure. For good or bad, of course it's good. It's good for you. It's good for you to be superior to him. I think that's debatable. There aren't many spiritual doctors as good as you in the association, and there are only a few in the church that can handle spirits as well as you do. Uh huh. Um, well, I guess that is a good thing. G genuine compliment. Look at that. Rin can compliment when she wants to. Rin's not a bad person. She's just a weird person. Weird's not bad. Creepy ain't a crime. What? Gosh. Satena. Ika ni sugureta chirio ho to ye. Who knows? No matter how great this healing method is, the spirit is only a, con a contact treatment relying on the body. Being good with spirits while being in charge of a super spirit war is a good thing. Yeah! You can be the spirit man! Maybe that means you have the ability. <gasps> Maybe that goes into your, your whole plan! You have the ability to touch. Okay, th my whole theoretical plan that he may have. Because if he, if he can interact with the spirits really good, maybe he has the ability to touch the grail without needing a servant. Which means maybe it's possible, because this whole crazy theory I'm cooking about how he wants to meet all the seven servants to get all of them gathered, and then, and then all the masters and servants, and then when the battle comes to a close, he's going to somehow snatch it and get the wish that he wasn't given, that he was owed, but never actually got in the last grail war, is my ongoing theory. Um, so yeah, being good with spirits would help him with that. I don't know what his wish would be, but I'm guessing, you know, if he got if he got gypped in the last war, maybe because Kiritsugu stole his wish that he should have gotten, then I could see him having some, you know, some some drive, some motivation, some anger. Kiri's fighting abilities don't mean he isn't a bad mage. Okay, cool. Just because he's good at what he does doesn't mean what he does makes him a good mage. I think I follow that. Gotomini's other name is Soul Dude because he's good at spirits. Soul Dude, and is that you know canon? Is that like is that is that okay? Is that he pushes up glasses I don't wear? Is that like in his um Wikipedia wiki page where it's like AKA Soul Dude? That's right, totally official. Kire Soul Dude. That's, that's his middle name. Kotomine Soul Dude Kire. Uh. No matter how great this healing method is, the spirit is only a contact treatment relying on the body. It is nothing close to a miracle that allows connection with the soul, the proof of existence, independent of the body. Oh, you made it up just now! Alright, cool! Cool. We have our official new nickname. Because, okay, so we have for Shinji, we have. Sh uh, uh, what was it? Sh uh, Shietji. Or no. How, sh Shietji? I think it's Shi. I forget. Because it's like Shiji. She. No, it's like Shienji. Because you're like Shitji. No. Sh Shiet Boy. No. G oh, gosh. I'm forgetting sh Shinji's shitty nickname. Anyways. Anyways. So, so, so for, for Kire, we've got Soul Dude. He is totally the dude variety. Kire is such a dude, bro. 
Um, and for Shinji, we have Shiet Sh Shiet Boy. I've I've completely forgotten everything. Oh, oh Shiet Face. That's right. You said fuck face, but I thought that that's too tacky. So let's call him Shiet Face. Um, so Sh Shinji is Shiet Face. Kire is um, Soul Dude Bro. I'll, I'll add to it a little bit. Soul Dude Bro. Um, and Rin is. Come on, Rin. Why don't you have a wish? That's, that's short enough to be a nickname, right? Come on, Rin. Why don't you have a wish? Tosaka. <clears throat> Tomokaku. Meiji no tekisu wa kanryou shita. Anyways, the treatment is complete. Ato no shimatsu wa kimi no yakuari da. Emi ya shiro. Saigo ni nokotta reiji wo mochi. Saaban to tomo keiyaku wo tatsu gai. Rude. Toe sucker? <laughs> Toe sucker. That is so good. If I ever stop liking Rin, if I ever especially start disliking her, I will call her Toe Sucker. That is nice. I'm keeping that in mind. That's kind of a rude nickname, though. I would only use that if I actually disliked her. Um, for now, I think she's pretty okay. But Toe Sucker, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> anyway, the treatment is complete. The rest is up to you, Emi Yashiro. Use your last command spell to cut the contract between you and your servant. And uh, is this when Saber kills me? Is this how we get our bad ending? Cut the contract with my servant. Yeah, did you forget about that? Saber's still waiting outside? She's gonna be pissed. If she had went in with you, maybe she could have convinced you to, you know, <laughs> join up. Uh...外で待ってるセーバーの前で契約破棄を申し出るの。けど、きっとセーバーは契約破棄なんて認めてくれない。それをちくらづくで執行するために、レイジを一つだけ残したのよ、キレイは。Saber is the best waifu. If Saber can't be part of the Grail War, nobody can. Saber kills everyone. Rawr! Um. Yes. Yeah, request uh, abol uh, ab abolition. Ab ab abol abolition. A a request Obelisk the Tormentor to destroy the contract before Saber, who's waiting outside. I'm sure she won't accept it. So Kiri left you a command spell to force her to agree. I get it. So you koto da. Reiji o tsukaikiri. I'm fascinating. Where is this going? Is this going to lead into ending credits? Gosh. That is correct. But by using your command spell and abolishing the contract with your servant, you present to the other masters that you are harmless. I really like, real props to this game, honestly, that we're allowed to do this. Because really, so many games just give you but thou must like you get a choice like that and it's not a real choice if you choose no they'll be like no that's stupid um so i i i i appreciate when games with choices like this legitimately let you do stuff like this because even if even with but thou must like um i would even in games that let you do stuff like this i wouldn't expect um they would let you bow out of the grail war because the grail war is like the whole meat of bones of the game Therefore, we're clearly going towards some kind of weirdo ending, right? So, that's that's neat. I'm very intrigued. Uh, different choices give great clarification on the story. Sometimes there's foreshadowing. Sometimes just night alternate content. Um, not the way to fully continue the story. Uh, I mean, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go back and load the other save at some point. But, uh, but uh, anyways. So, <clears> you're <throat> Then you are openly free. A sane master would not think of attacking a powerless master. A sane master, maybe. But I mean, I think my sister doesn't like me very much. By relinquishing a power you have gained by chance, you will regain your peaceful life. So much sane. Shame, shame, I feel like this Grail War is lacking insane. <laughs> lacking insane, and that makes them insane. Oh, maybe that's where the name insane comes from. Like, because I've always thought, oh, uh, like you're insane, that doesn't make sense. Like you're in the sane state of mind. Isn't that what insane would mean? But it's different. So like, maybe it means, maybe that's the root of the word. You're lacking insane points. You don't have enough sane points. You're lacking insane. Therefore, you are insane. Hmm. Theories, thoughts, maybe. Ellipses. You don't have enough same points? You must have ten same points to join the Grail War. 
<clears throat> if you don't have enough same points, we just we just can't have you. No, you have to have this few same points, because only only weirdo crazies can join the Grail War, because the Grail wants a fun show. I'll break the contract with Saber by choice. That's betraying her. Even if it was by chance, I called for her and she protected me. Ellipses. Oh, is Lancer gonna kill you, actually? Because you'll be a witness again, right? I mean... The Magic Association doesn't know about you, so won't the Magic FBI come after you now that you've made yourself known? <laughs> Have I made the wrong choice? I mean, you've made the incorrect choice to continue in the narrative, I'm sure. I cannot approve of Masters killing each other. I can't approve it, but I can't overlook it either, then... What are you doing? No incantations are necessary to activate the command spell. All you have to do is put your mind to it and uh, order your servant. Are we going to go back on it now? When we have only one command spell left? No. Is that what's going to happen? Like he's going to be like, I can't, I can't unsummon Saber. I, I owe it to her. That'd be even worse, to be honest. To go out and be like, Hey, Saber, I thought for a second about quitting, so we took two of my command spells, so we only have one now. She would be so fucking pissed! <laughs> uh, you can tell her directly, you can just cut the contract here. Choose whichever you like. I would be so awkward about telling her directly. I think I would just cut it here. Like, oof. I mean, her ghost may come back to haunt me, but uh, it'll probably not be another 50 years when the next Grail War happens, right? If she gets chosen as Saber again. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ellipses. No. No! Are you really going to continue with the Grail War with just one? Holy shit, that would make such a big... That would be so cool. That That's not what I expected. I honestly expected to actually go towards end credits here. But if that continues, that means we have one, two less command spells. We're chipping ourselves so hardcore. Like, that could be so... That I could see that leading to so many different, like... Wow, that's chipping us so hard, though. Is he going to go back on it now? Oh, I've made my decision. Oh, I thought he was saying, no, I can't do that. I can't take anything back now, and the priest probably wouldn't allow it. Oh, I thought he was actually going to take it back. And that could have been a very interesting scenario. But, no, okay, this is cool too. Either way, either way. This <laughs> is show playing hard mode, yep. <laughs> Stupid mode. Rin at least used her two command cells for something. Uh... You know how Undertale hard mode works, though. You only can go until the end of the prologue and then it's over. Uh, apparently, the rest will be made eventually, maybe later, maybe. But it won't be. Yeah, he's too busy working on Del Delta Rune. <clears throat> I'll go and sell this directly with Saber. Then I won't be a master, right? Uh, directly with Saber, Emiakun. That's yeah. She may kill your ass. Um, hopefully she's noble enough to not do that. Oops, I I clicked something. Ah, hoshoshio. Yes, I guarantee that. Go and inform your servant of the parting. After that, I shall welcome you into the church as a subject to protection. <laughs> oh, nice. I was not expecting this right now. Oh, Tom's Tom, you confused me because your name is also green. You guys aren't color-coded enough. Because, like, because cause Penna is light blue. Wise Fool is dark blue. Um, uh, where is he? Ray 9K9 is red. Um, but In Hanyu and Tom's Tom, you're both the same shade of green. You fight to the death. Only one may have that shade of green. And you're both saying rejoice. You guys gotta fight. Too many... Re you guys gotta fight to the death. You, two, two light greens is unacceptable. Holy Grail War right here, right now. You're, you both are masters. He's a different shade for you. Gosh. You're confusing me. Well, that's fine. I'll just have to read. I can't just read with my color perception. For me, I'm purple. Well, you know what? I don't want any purple people to paraphrase a comedian. I, you're the one who has to die then, I guess, because, um, because, because, because that's what the comedian says. You're, he, he, he's fine with white people and black people and yellow people. No purple people. Let's play the game of who's colorblind. 83C. <laughs> All right, let's play the game of exchanging who's what color for who. Uh, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I can read. Uh, purple is my favorite color. Eats Krabby Patty. The Krabby Patty pizza 
is the best pizza for you and me. Is that purple? Purple pizza. Anyways, purple people, purple pizza. Oh. Anyways, after that, I shall welcome you into the church as subject to protection. The priest welcomes me, but I don't know how serious he is. Anyway, I have no intention of putting myself in his care. Gosh, we've been going for so long. <laughs> Too much chat interaction. I have to play the game. I at least have to get to the point where, um, I have to get the point where, um, where I find out if I'm getting some kind of weird alternate ending. <clears throat> I'll only abandon my right as a master. I'll not ask for his help after that. I wouldn't want the help of that jerk anyways. Gosh, I, I'm a man. Men don't need help from other men. Only women need help from men. What? I refuse that. I won't need your help. I'll settle things with Saber and after I use up my command spell, I'm going home. Screw you guys, I'm going home. That'll be it. I'll never see you again in this timeline. So well, certainly we shall never meet again. Uh, I don't think Shiro likes Kotomine much. Funny. It's funny. It's like it's like they already know that that Kotomine killed Rin's dad and like several times fought against K Kiritsugu. Um, it's like they know, but they don't. But it's still, it's like the way they're treating him. It's like, I mean, it's not so intense because if they did know, I think they'd be more harsh. But they're still kind of harsh. I think Kiri's a fun guy. Or at least he gives off the presence of a fun guy, even if he's secretly not a fun guy. Farewell, Emiya Shiro. Sayonara, Shadow the Hedgehog. Whenever I hear Sayonara, I just I, I think of Sayonara, Shadow the Hedgehog from Sonic Adventure 2. I gotta get that out of my head. It's just an actual Japanese word. It's so funny that it was in the dub of the game. Is the path you have chosen yourself. Take pride in it. Aw, and Rin! Aw, she looks all sad and stuff. Aw. Dash, dash, dash. He doesn't need to tell me that. I turn my back on him and leave the church. This is so cool, by the way. I love this. I love we could actually say no. So many games wouldn't have done it. And so many games would have been butt thou must. And I'm like, what if I just wanna, don't want to do it? Here, I actually got the option not to do it. I'm still going to do it. I'll go back and do it. But, um, oh, I love seeing stuff like this. I exit the church. She is there in the stone paved plaza under the tall sky. <laughs> it's nice that Shiro commits to his choices. It's nice that the game lets you. <clears throat> um, have you finished your conversation, Master? It would be extra nice if they let us then go back on that and continue the Grail War with just one command seal. That would be at least to some interesting things, I think. But uh, uh, it's still nice that we at least get this. <clears throat> Uh, have you finished your conversation, Master? Yeah, and you're not gonna like what I learned. Uh, I learned what this Holy Grail thing is. Love Undertale, by the way. Um, <laughs> uh, Undertale Determination? That's the moral of this story? No, I think that's Undertale. Uh, which I think I learned. I I've, I've played some Japanese Undertale, by the way. I've, I've, um... Uh, I, I came really late to the party of Undertale, but um, uh, I've been playing some Japanese Undertale recently to help study Japanese because most of the game is in Kana. It's most characters speak in Hiragana and Katakana. There's not much kanji. The, honestly, Undertale, the Japanese Undertale is super clever with the usage of kanji. It'll be like on the signs. Like if you, if you talk to people, it'll just be Kana. But if um, you uh, go up to actual signs, um, and read them, there'll be kanji all over, which, which at first was super jarring when I was playing it. Like, I was just talking to people, um, I was talking to Goat Mom, talking to Flowey, um, but then, but then I went up to one of the signs and I read it, and it was just kanji overload, which makes sense, because it's like, the idea is that, um, I think the idea is that monsters wrote this back in the day, when they first settled, back old school, um, before, you know, they started, you know, distancing themselves from humans. So I think the idea is that humans speak kanji, but monsters only speak kana. And so there's kanji on the signs from a remnant of when they splintered off from the humans, but the monsters themselves only speak kana as they've grown into that. I think it's really neat. 
Um, but anyways, <clears throat> yeah, I learned what this Holy Grail thing is. And taking that into consideration, decided. Saber, I withdraw from being a master. Um, repeat that again slowly, please. And then if you do, I will kill you. Uh, dash, 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 dash. This is nerdy on Japanese. Yep, double thumbs up. Uh, Saber's brow does not even twitch. Twitch? That's what we're playing on. I mean, what? Streaming on. Her green eyes seem to accept my decision, as if it were natural. Nice. <laughs> this is one of the best points of Renegade. Uh, the Japanese? Uh, you mean the Japanese, or do you mean the rambling? Also, I don't know who this uh, faker Renegade is. I'm Renegade, not Renegade. Gosh. Don't confuse me for those crazy. <laughs> uh, Overanalyzing in tangents. Yep. <clears throat> does, you mean, does this mean you'll be abandoning the contract with me? I did think she'd be honorable, so I'm glad. I'm glad. As if it were natural. It's true that I came into this by accident, so that's good. Uh, it's good that she's accepting my decision. Does this mean you'll be abandoning the contract with me? Uh, could I trade you to Rin? Does Rin want you? Rin probably wants you. She could probably have you. I mean, Archer would be pissed in that. It really, either way, one of them's getting the shaft, but... I kind of like to see the Saber uh, Rin OTP. That's right. I'm not fit to be a master. And you too, Saber. It'd be better for you to form a contract with a proper master. Um, not, not one like me. Wait, this isn't Renegade 67? Sorry, I must have taken a wrong turn. Gosh, how dare you confuse me with that faker! Everybody knows I'm Renegade 67, not Renegade 67. Uh, uh, by the way, um, uh, for a YouTube audience, they're spelling it with an E. I spell it with an I, that's the joke. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, with a proper master, not one like me. Yes. Yes, if I am after a better winning chance in battle, I should form a contract with another Magus. Archer's master should be able to draw out my full potential. <laughs> wow, it is going to form the OTP. Um, I mean, Archer's master probably should, but can you take two servants at once? That never came up in Fate Zero, I don't think. I think they could, like, swap servants, but I don't think you can take on more than one, unless I'm wrong. Then I can abandon her contract now, right? That's way more OP, by the way. Rin getting Saber is way more OP than her getting a few extra command seals. Even if she only has one to use for both of them. I use the command spell to cancel this contract, so you'll be free. Shiro, I'll ask you only once. What are you asking me? Will you not change your mind about your intention not to be a master? I will not change my mind. I have no intention to kill others. For a second, I thought they were going to give us another choice. Like we could branch again to see if we continue the war with just one seal. But nope. I say so looking directly at Saber. At that time... The raincoat saber is wearing sways. Uh, what? Oh, huh? I blankly stare at the death in front of me. What? The time it takes me to blink, saber runs toward me. Are, is she killing me? <laughs> what? The death? Huh? Huh? Are you that much of a bitch? Sweeps my legs from under me and knocks me over. Oh, that's it. She just swept my leg. Okay. So she didn't. She's not killing me. You're not killing me, right? Are you that petty? Are you that petty? Is she killing me? Pain runs through my le legs after a moment. There's no blood. I still have my feet. Okay. Come off it, you baby. There's no blood. I'm relieved that I still have my legs. Thank God she only swept me with a metal rod. Okay. My legs hurt like they're about to tear off, but it's much better than having them cut off. Shiro, 
私を呼び寄せたあなたには私をこの世にとどめる力がある。So many rules! Shiro, a m a g u s is no longer a master, will be killed by his servant. That's not true! That's not true! That's, what, that's not what Mr. Kirei told me! What? No! I, I need a Kirei! I need a Kirei! Uh, no matter how inexperienced you are, you have the power to keep me in this world as you have called for me. Well, why will I be killed by my servant? Maybe killed by another servant or another master? What? Come on! Don't be a bitch about it! <laughs> Did Rin know? What is this? She used her sword's flat side. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Because it's invisible, so we can't really tell when it's, it's using the blunt side or the sharp side. A servant needs a master. Okay. Huh? No! Yeah! Daijobu nai! A servant needs a master. If you break your contract, I'll kill you and take that body. No, thank you! No! That's not part of the deal! No bueno! What? Wait, are you. Wait, okay, what do you mean you'll take my body? You're, you're like, like a ghost? Like possess me? You're gonna. Wait, you're gonna be your own master. Like you will be Saber fighting in the Grail War, and you'll possess my body as a ghost, and you'll be your own master? Is that your goal? Um. She'll cut him in half and wear his body horror movie style. Yup. Sounds kinky. <laughs> oh yeah, Saber is so noble. She is the noblest. Totally. She's, you could say she's a noble fa phantom. Or a phantasm, but a phantom. Because a phantom is another word for ghost, and so I made a joke. She's gonna take my body. I know some. I know some of my viewers that would like that saber waifu. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Inu Hanyu. My body is ready. Uh, I don't think my body's ready. I think. I think I want. I want Ayako to have my body. I mean, what? <clears throat> or Neko Chan. Or Sakura. I, I'll just spell out everyone that isn't saber. No. <clears throat> or my sister. Ooh, ooh. It's okay. We're not related by blood. It's okay. No chroma. Um. Uh, do you still uh, say you will abandon your rights as a master? Um, this kind of changes things. I look up at Saber, concentrating my fading consciousness. There is no enmity or murderous intent in Saber's expression. She just really wants the Grail. She's totally noble. She's doing things by the book. The Grail's book is just a bunch of shit. It's a bunch of baloney. Rewrite the book, please. I mean, I'd be ready, but I cosplayed Saber in the past, so I'd be odd. <laughs> So wait, if Saber is cosplaying you, but you already cosplayed Saber, what if you cosplay Saber while she is taking over you? That way, you'd be Saber, but you'd also be Saber, but you wouldn't be Saber, but you'd be Saber. Um, did you have the Ahoge? I mean, say this Saber had. <laughs> did you? Have oh, the cosplay. Um, as natural it is to breathe. Saber would kill me without emotion to stay in this world. What a bitch. She's really, okay, if we're taking Fate Zero into account, um, yeah, she has really stiffened since Fate, uh, Fate Zero. She doesn't want to put up with any more bullshit, I think. After missing her chance and having to wait ten more years, she doesn't want to fuck around. She doesn't want to lose her chance. I kind of expected that she would, I kind of expected she'd be less, less of a murderous bitch about it, though, and be more of, oh, please no, Shiro, please, 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 please no. She'd be more like that and less like this. But still, so that's right, even if I were to change my mind, I can't do it. Not because I only have one command spiel left. Oh, yeah. I refuse to fight. I refuse to become a master. Having such a person as your master would only result in defeat, so I die anyway. So if you're telling me death is my only option, then I'll go back and reload my old save point. What? No matter how it came about, my mind gave up. So you're just gonna get killed by Saber? That is how the game's gonna end? That's fucking sucks! You could at least get killed by your sister, because we know that she's kinda evil. This just makes me even more think that Saber's kind of a bitch and I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't want to be inside you anymore, Saber. I changed my mind. Don't be inside me, please. I thought that was kinky before. My kinks have changed my mind. Mm, I'd rather have Archer inside me. I mean, at least he would, you know, be polite about it. Rin Tashkete. 
I don't know enough Japanese to know what that means, but I'll say it confidently. Rin Tuskete! Rin Toastalker! Oh, <laughs> Rin Toastalker, help! <laughs> Alright, if I have refused battle once, the second time must be the same. I would lament every time I face danger that I should not have entered the battle. It would be bad for both me, uh, you and me to make such a person your master. <laughs> Please, waifus, other waifu, save me from my, my bloodthirsty waifu! If you don't save me from my other waifu, then your waifu's gonna have to also be a waifu. I mean, you guys might be into that, though, actually. Rin might be into that, but I mean... Is that why she was looking so sad about it? Because she expected this to happen? No, I doubt she expected this to happen. I think if she did, she would have stopped it. And she would have said, no, just unsummon him here. Unless she's playing the long game where, where she wants me to get killed by Saber to take Saber for herself, which makes Rin the bitch! Rin is the top bitch! I mean, what? <clears throat> Then you do not mind being killed by me here? No, I would just like it if you didn't kill me. You could just not be so... So, so unemotive about it. If you're gonna kill me, at least, like, act like a bitch, please. Act like a bit of a bitch. I feel like the less of a bitch you ask, act like, the more of a bitch you really are. To be honest, in this situation... I cannot be a spirit. If I cannot accept your soul, your body will face a painful death. You're going to accept that? No! Daijobunai! If I cannot absorb your soul, your body will face a painful death. Well, that sucks. I don't want a painful death. It's not even like a unpainful death, quick and easy. It's going to be painful. Well, fuck that! And also, why can't you be a spirit? Is there some special reason you can't be a spirit? Um, because I mean, like, you know, I, I thought it was, I could only, you know, I thought it was only that you couldn't be a spirit because I'm inexperienced and can't put you in spirit form. Is there some special thing with you specifically where you can't be a spirit? Um, uh, OOC. Oh, it's out of character for Saber to be a bitch based on zero. Oh yeah, mm. Well, okay, here's the thing. At least if she acts like a bitch, then she's owning her bitchness. And she's like, I have to be a bitch here, I know, and she'll be a bitch. The more she tries to be reserved about it and be like, no, no, I'm just business as usual. That, to me, that's way more of a bitch. Um, yeah, you keep your zip mouth zips shut and you keep it all the way zipped. I'll even pull off the little thing. You know how you zip a zipper with one of those little bracket things you zip the zipper with? You know what I mean? I'll pull it off. And that way you never unzip. I guess I could say it's a lock and I take throw away the key. That's the more commonly used expression. But you know, Ziploc bags. I'll zip your mouth right up with my bag. Ziploc bags are very handy, by the way. Hashtag not sponsored by Ziploc. Hashtag could be. I'll take your money. I mean, I like Ziploc bags. They're pretty great. They're pretty useful. I use them a lot. Hashtag not sponsored. <clears throat> You're going to accept that? Asaka. Tatakao no wa of course not. I won't. I don't like fighting, but I like being killed even less. I know it won't help, but I'll resist until the last second and flee. I gather my courage and glare back at Saber, not allowing myself to be overwhelmed by her. Oh, really? That that, that almost got kinky. I mean, you would have died, but it almost got kinky. It, it, slight kinky before death. And then what? Instant death? Saber. Saber? Resist with your penis's courage! All of its might! You ejaculate right over her with your last command spell and show her who's boss! I mean... Boss is in a different game. That's Isomnium Files. I understand. Use your command spell, Shiro. It's your decision. I have no right to intervene. Now overpowered by a 410 androgynous woman. Androgynous. I forget what that word means. I'm learning too much Japanese. I'll have to like. I, I got. I'm learning too much Japanese. English words are starting to slip my mind. I don't know what they mean anymore. It's your decision. I have no right to intervene. No, you don't. Okay, so you were just offering. You were just offering to kill me, but you were never actually going to go through with it without my consent. That makes you less of a bitch. Okay, so you were just giving me the option to say fuck myself. You can have a life. Um. Oh, is that what Andron just means? Looks like a man and a woman? Yeah, I think she looks like a woman. I think she's very clearly a woman. I think that's a little rude, a little insensitive. Um, 
but no, honestly, none of that's needed. It's just overwhelmed by a woman for Shiro. Never accepted. Ultimate sexism. You know, you've got ultimate, you've got ultimate Luxter and ultimate, um, shoot, I'm blanking. Ultimate detective, ultimate, ultimate affluent progeny, ultimate sexist. <clears throat> Um, she passes a male for entire reign. Well, um, I mean, I think she probably had a proxy or something. I mean, she looks like a Bashonen boy. She could pass as a Bashonen boy, I think. But you'd have to dress differently. Uh, use your command spell, Shiro. It's your decision. I have no right to intervene. Huh? Eh? Huh? <laughs> Do not worry. It's just the case that I could not establish trust with my master this time. If you abolish the contract with your command spell, I will be free. I should only be able to maintain this body for about two hours, but I'll just find a new master in that time. Uh, how? You're gonna go kill Archer? <laughs> um, gosh. Uh, could not establish trust with my master. It's not about trust. Uh, uh, I don't think it's so much about trust. It's more about he doesn't want to fight and die. Um, testing resolve, testing Shiro's resolve to leave the war. <laughs> uh, yeah, threatening someone with a fake death. Sounds kind of like a bitch. I mean... Yeah, I guess she was seeing... I mean, that would have been... Okay, maybe she would have never went through with actually killing him. She was just seeing... Yeah, if he was resolved. That makes sense. That makes sense. She was making sure he was resolved to not fight. And maybe as a last ditch ever, trying to let make him fight. Even if with just one command spell. Yeah. I could not establish trust with my master this time. Um, I mean, it was your trust was kind of wonky with your master last time, too. If you abolish the contract with your command spell, I'll be free. Should only be able to maintain the body for about two hours. I mean, the only way you'll do that is if you kill an already existing servant, I think. But I mean, I believe in you. Good luck, Gamba Gambareo. Gambate. Saber says so plainly. Spurred by these words, those words. What? I pray to the command spell on my left hand to abolish the contract. For a second, I thought they showed back up or something. You are now free. It was only a short union, but your magical energy was pleasant. It was pleasant? Giggity. I shall not see you again, but I shall pray that you safely survive this battle. Well, that's nice. And also, what do you mean survive this battle? I'm out of the battle now. Do you know something I don't? It's not really a battle if I'm out of it. I mean, it is a battle, but I'm not part of the battle. Okay, bye. And now ending credits. Now we get married with Sakura. Get married with Neko and have a happily ever after. Um, get married with Sakura, Neko, and Aiko. Have a happily ever after. Maybe Fujimura once I'm a little older too. What? The silver armor recedes. <laughs> <sighs> Without realizing, I almost try to call after her, but I stop myself before I do such a stupid thing. I'm not permitted to call her name. I kind of want to get to this ending, but I also think we're about stopping time. Um, I think I want to go a little further, but I really do have to pee. So hold a second. I'm going to save real quick and just say, um, um, uh, rip Grail War, but not rip us. Yatta. Okay. Um, all right, all right, all right. AFK, we're talking about the specifics of AFK. AKF. Um, I never heard it called AKF. I'm more used to AFK. Um, Kentucky Fried uh, Computers. Uh, away from keyboard. 2000s computer lingo. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, it is so cool that you can put a note on the save. I love it. That's one of my favorite things about this game. <laughs> I love it. I like just making saves. J Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh cards for the win. Kirei plus Saber equals awkward. Deep Kirei is the deep. Can we be pussies? For reals though, I doubt it. Uh, Fate Stay P. Also got to Saber Yata. Foodie Food Dream. Third time's a charm, but that's like bad and stuff. Don't do that. Um, uh, hungry Hungry Hippo. It's a free time event. 
Uh, BBB. Oh, right. That, 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 uh, nothing. Oh, I didn't put anything there? Um, <clears throat> the fuck? I thought it was computer this whole time. That'd be AFC. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is AFK. Away from keyboard, not computer. K doesn't stand for computer. That's a weird spelling of computer. I think there are some languages that might spell computer with a K, but uh, uh, not English. Uh, no more internet derps, please. I blame Windows 10. Good voice volume. I got a Wii. Are we still prologue? Liar, liar, pants on water? None, Deska. One day of peace was a busted Yu-Gi-Oh card. Is it still busted in current meta? Are you Archer? That's my guess. Still in the prologue, Yoish. Lancer vs. Archer hype. Disconnect. Shiro, Shinji, I'll just say she. We didn't start the fire. That was what happened in Fate Zero. Fate Stay Night didn't start the fire. It's three years, you can't convince me otherwise, game, I'll fight you. It's it's a choice! I choose the waifu. Dead Parents Trilogy. Choice to Electric Booger Blue. No unstable, please. So far, it's been pretty non-unstable. Anyways. <clears throat> uh, anyways, uh, yes. Like Mortal Kombat, everything is better with a K. <laughs> Mortal Computer! Do -do 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 <laughs> Notes are hilarious. I like them. <laughs> it's three years fight me i will fight you it is three years the menu says three years the text says five years i say it's three years i don't care what the game says the game can keep saying five years all i want to say three years because that means Kira kiritsugu lived for two more years i'd like to think he lived those two more years fight me fight you death battle i will fight the cannon i don't care if it's cannon <clears throat> Anyways, I'm not permitted to call out her name. She did not blame me for selfishly abandoning the contract, and she cared for my safety at the end. Thank you. <sighs> it's a losing battle after over the number of years. That's right. It's losing on your side, winning on my side. Mortal Computer Bat! Since I have rejected her and backed out of the Holy Grail War, I cannot call out and stop her. Okay, so I'm going home. It's a silent night. One thing I will actually go ahead and ask you guys in the chat real quick. Um, I'm, we're probably going... I don't know how long until we get credits, but here's one thing I will ask you. When we hit the ending, is there going to be a big, long credit scene? That's one thing I guess I'll ask. Because if there is, I want to see it. But I don't have that much more longer than I plan to stream for, so... If there's going to be a big credit scene anyways, I think I'll stop and pick this up tomorrow morning. Um, that's the one thing I want to know. If there's going to be a big long credit scene. No no big long credit scene? Okay, that's, that's the one thing I wanted to know. If there's not, then I might go a little bit longer. Anyways, it's a silent night. You could say it's a stay night. There's a butt? Don't tell me there's any butts. I don't want any butts in my, in my, in my playthrough. You're saying butt. But spoilers? Well, if it's butt spoilers, why would you even say butt in the first place? Gosh. Here I thought we could have some butt sex. Maybe Larry Butts would want some butt sex. It's a silent night. Even though it's past midnight, the town is still silent. Silent night. Silent night. All is right. Copyright. Christmas time. In a couple months, it's Christmas time at um at the <laughs> uh the part time job I'm at. It's Christmas time at um uh any store you go to for like uh you know just you know it, you'll you'll start to find Christmas stuff uh soon. At the very least, we're getting in to start stocking it. We're, we're already getting Christmas stuff, so it's Christmas time in um in the storefront. Anyways, uh the town is too silent. Oh boy, is this game gonna have a Christmas? Waifus are more of a thing in Japan, right? With Christmas? Like, like where you, you get the guy and the girl and it's more of a date thing. Christmas is more of a date thing in Japan, right? Oh, that's exciting. I want my, I want my Fates Day date. Fates Day date night. <clears throat> uh, bah humbug, you get out of here. Go take your Hanukkah and get... <laughs> uh, no, it's okay. We can have a Merry Christmas and a Merry Hanukkah and a Merry Kwanzaa. And a merry fill in the blank. All of them. I don't discriminate against any holidays. Except for all the ones that aren't Christmas. Because I do. I celebrate Christmas. Um, no. Even though it's past midnight, the town is too silent. Ellipses. To be honest, it's eerie. I don't think I'm exaggerating. I think that 
word is very suitable for this atmosphere. I wonder when it started to be like this. Probably when you declined to stay with Saber and have her as your ultimate waifu. You started to be the ultimate chicken. I mean, I did. That was me. Renegade chose that choice. So we can't blame that on Shiro, but we can blame it anyways. It's obvious. The Holy Grail War, the secret battle between the six magi is stealing the life out of this town. Oh, well, I mean, that's not where I was going with that, but sure. Huh? My chest starts to hurt. Why? The chest that was stabbed by Lancer only a few hours ago is aching. Oh, no. What is this? Does, like, Rin need to do maintenance? Oh, don't go home if you're gonna just gonna die. Let's go home. What good will it do to go back to the church now? Let's go home. As if there's multiple people? Um, I mean, do you know about Twitch chat, Shiro? Do you know that I'm watching you? And during the pain in my chest, I head home. I think about what I should do once I'm home. I should be able to calm down if I go home, take a bath and relax a bit, and then you die. Just now, you're dead. You dead? But, demo, Shikashi... Bad end, Shiro gets a heart attack. That'd be boring. He can't at least get killed by someone? That's way more interesting. I'll think about what I should do when I get home. That thought itself was a mistake. Why? Full moon. That is eerie. Oh, that's the butt. Oh. Huh? Tom's Tom, you're funny. Huh? Are they there? Like a bad dream, it tells me that there's no road ahead of me. Eh? Oh shit, my sister is gonna kill me! Yes! <laughs> Eats too much fatty foods. She was waiting until I summoned my servant, and then she wanted to kill me in the battle, but if I'm not gonna participate in the battle, she's just gonna kill me anyways. I kind of expected that to happen. Okay, this is much better than Saber killing me. <clears throat> You're alone now, Oni-chan. I raise my head at the girl's voice. Under the blue moon. What? What was that? On top of the hill that she moved. Was that her servant? Uh, just a flash of it. Was that her servant behind her? It looked big. Who, who, who might that be? Who's left? Holy on. Who, who have we already covered? We've already covered Lancer, La Lancer, Archer, Saber. Um, what, what's that leave? That leaves Assassin, Caster, Rider. <gasps> Berserker. I always leave out Berserker. Whenever I'm counting the servants, I always leave out Berserker. Um, anyways, Lancer, Archer, Saber are covered. So, uh, this could be Rider, Berserker, Caster, Rider, Berserker, Caster, Assassin. Um, I don't think it's Assassin. That thing looked huge, so I doubt it's Assassin. That leaves Caster. I doubt it's Caster. That thing looked huge. Um, that, le that, that, uh, it didn't look like a magic caster. That looked more like a Hulk smash, um, which leaves Rider and Berserker. Uh, let's see here. If it's Ryder, that means he must have a huge-ass fucking mount. Because that thing looked huge. So, my guess would be Berserker. Just based on the brief glance we got, it looked fuck. He looked fucking huge. Um, so I'm guessing she got Berserker. Whoa! Yeah, that looked like a kind of Berserk face. Or a girl in a strange figure. Oh shit, he isn't gonna die. I gotta get some F's in the chat. Oh, oh, we're on our way. Oh, did you hit me right in my wound that Lancer left? And they burst. I don't think every rider needs to ride horses. You could like, uh, you could ride tigers, lions, and bears. Oh my. I think it's fine as long as you're riding something. Something that's like uh, generally uh, four-legged. Um, and they burst. I didn't even have a chance to see it scream nor turn and run. The black giant standing there swings his weapon upwards and just the sheer force of the weapon moving takes me. Uh, rip Shiro Emiya. He existed from... What year are we in? What year are we in? You could ride a boat. That would be a rider. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Um, what year is this? Uh, have they said? If they've said, remind me. If they haven't, don't say it. Um, <laughs> nice boat. That's, uh, <laughs> that's freaking Higurashi. I know that meme. Um, I have not seen Higurashi, but I know the meme. It's 2004, which means, and Shiro's what, like 16? I don't actually remember his age. 
That means 1998, so he would have been born in what, 1988? So, rip Shiro, 1988 to 2004, or something like that. You will be missed. Oh, it's school days! That's what I meant. I know the meme, I just forgot the source material. That's what I meant. Anyways, ah. Nice acting. Well, let me try some of that. It flew off. It flew off. Something flew off from the base. The road behind me is slick with a downpour of redness, and the broken part is light pink, and there's slowly seeping blood and intense pain and horror and... Bazaka, that's how they pronounce it. Interesting. But also, called it. I'm four for four, I think. Well, technically, I cheated with Saber because I knew it was Saber, but. So I'm three for three, let's say that. Three down, three to go. And the fewer there are, the easier it is to guess. Berserker, I don't feel like playing Chase, so just squash him. He doesn't, he's not gonna fight with his servant anymore, so just a quick, easy kill is preferred. Bazaka. Ow! Bazaka, I don't feel like... Oh, uh, I roll. Both of my legs are bent as if sitting Japanese style. But they're both bending the wrong way with the f my feet bending forward, my knees down. Ooh. Oh, Kiritsugu. <laughs> hey, you're rolling. I bet Kiritsugu is rolling in his grave. <laughs> oh, damn it. Why didn't I go back and finish my unfinished business? Is probably what he's thinking. No, why does Shiro have to suffer for my woes? Oh, oops, I cut off his... It's a bit graphic, but um, I'm used to 999 levels of graphic, so eh, I've seen worse. Uh, 999 is poetic in its, its graphics of blood and stuff. Bent as if sitting Japanese style, but they're both bending the wrong way. Yeah. I've seen worse. I'm hardcore. It didn't make any jokes about food and how it looks like food. Um, ha! My thoughts cannot catch up to the events. My thoughts cannot ca catch up to the events due to the pain. Okay, so I said I wanted to think about this. What if I didn't see Fate Zero? What would my thoughts be on this situation? She's already called me brother, so I probably would guess that Kiritsugu had a secret other daughter, and that's probably what's going on, and she feels, like, betrayed. And I sort of know that that's what's going on, but, um... If I was in this position and I hadn't seen Fate Zero, I would probably, based on this and the fact that she's killing me like right now, and she's calling me brother, and she's killing me out of nowhere, I would assume, probably assume, that she has a grudge because of something related to Kiritsugu, and that I have a secret sister that maybe was abandoned by Kiritsugu. And that is what happened, but like, I would probably assume that based, maybe not earlier, when she first met me, but based on the fact that she's killing me now, I, I would probably assume as much. Anyways. My thoughts can all catch up to the events due to the pain. Little girls call older people Oni-chan in Japan. Eh. They do, but usually it's only when they're familiar with them in some, in some case. Oni does mean brother, so... Usually you only call them that if you're familiar with them. Even if they're not actually related, it would usually be someone who's related. Which means she knows me to some extent, but I clearly don't know her. It's coming from younger girls to call older pre-adult males Oni-chan through in Japan, so I guess it depends on whether you'd know that. I wouldn't have known that, so I would have guessed that, probably. I, I am familiar with the fact that Oni is like brother, and I know that if you're familiar, you might call them your Oni, but like, she's not familiar with me. So I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't think that way. Um, it's kind of supposed to be ambiguous. Oh, well, I probably would have guessed correctly because I was misinformed. Isn't that always great when you have, when you answer, like, you, you, uh, the, the, when the teacher asks for a question and they ask to show your work and you show your work and you do the work all wrong, but you get the right answer. Anyways, my thought cannot, cannot catch up to the, uh, events due to the pain. Berserker. I definitely heard that. Then the monster in front of me. You're well-mannered, Oni-chan. I know that. It's that thing called assisted suicide, right? My grandfather said that Japanese people sit politely in the Japanese style when they die. Which means he's polite when he dies. All right. 
Also, your grandfather. That would be your mom's father, I'm guessing. Um, she's way too happy. No, it makes sense. Of course she's happy. This is what she wanted. She went out of her way to do this. She's gonna enjoy it. Oh, that's juicy. That's juicy. Oh, I'm just thinking. She seemed like such a sweet kid in, um... <laughs> she seemed like such a sweet kid in Fate Zero. But hey, uh, daddy issues can do a lot <laughs> to take the sweetness away. I begin to pass out. The girl's innocent voice doesn't match this situation. She's cute. She's kawaii. I'll save her with my penis. I think she's new best waifu. I like a girl who knows how to um, take control of the situation. <laughs> I'm only half joking. She's half my new best waifu. The girl's innocent voice doesn't match the situation. Also, it's taboo for a, a boy and sister, a brother and sister to do it. But we're not actually. No chromo, so it'd be hot. <laughs> the girl's innocent voice doesn't match the situation. Police? In Fate Universe, if the police showed up, they'd be killed too. They wouldn't be able to stop Berserker. Oh, he's... Oh, I think I'm hearing him say ya yeah in Japanese. Like, yamete. Like, stop. So, I think that's... I think that's what he's trying to say. Don't... 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 I look up. I can't... Breathe. Half of my chest has been... Blown behind me. Leaving a... A hole. A whole big hole. Oh, I fell onto the ground. On my back. Both my legs have become like caterpillars. And they're broken. So they can't move. So... I use my working arm to grip the asphalt. And drag myself away. Oh, you can still move, but I'm so sorry. You can't run away now. And besides, it's useless even if you do get away. Hmm? I'm so kawaii. Because even if you do, that body of yours will die in a few, se few, few ma seconds anyway, is the words I was reading. And then I read them before they actually existed, and that's not actually what they ended up being. So, yeah. Renegade for new anime VA? Oh, that'd be cool. Funimation should hire you. Uh, if I moved into that area, um, I could try out for things like that. Funimation does a lot of their stuff in-house. That, or they have an outsourced... Um, uh, Todd, ha Todd Habercorn has a very similar studio in LA, so that's letting them get some LA actors to do their stuff as well. But, um, no, no, seriously, I do do some acting on the side. Um, but, uh, like, if I really wanted to seriously get into that, I'd probably have to, like, you know, really slow down in this whole streaming Let's Play thing, because, um, oh, there's so much auditioning, and you need to get the right equipment, and it's, oh... It's such a pain. If I could just get in, if I could get in and just someone be like, oh, you're good. You can just do this role. Um, instead of having to go through all the process of getting there, that'd be great. But that process is such a pain. <laughs> mm. <laughs> my body feels light. I've lost over half my blood already. It's amazing I'm still conscious. <clears throat> My brain is starved of oxygen. It should have stopped already. Why hasn't it stopped? Is that even important? What what is important anymore? Kedo Hansiste So na conta ni shinoreta ratsumara nai de sa Dakara Watashigatoto da keteo kastagemasta She's just like I wanted her. She is new best waifu. It's okay if my wife would kill me, right? No hard feelings. <laughs> It'll be an alternate pathway when I load up the other safe point. You can be relieved. It's no fun if you die that easily, right? So I gave you a small hand. I made sure you would suffer before you died. Oni-chan will stay conscious no matter how much it hurts or how much of you gets destroyed until I crush your head. Oh, that's sick. So you're gonna like leave, you're gonna use magic to leave me alive to make it so that I will not die unless like, oh, so it's not just coincidence for narrative's sake. You're, you're literally using magic to keep me alive 
so that I will only die when like my heart or head gets crushed or something. Wow, what a bitch, I love it. So, even if I do this, you'll be able to ride like a living thing. Isn't it cute? She's so kawaii, Desu. Red text. Okay, his voice actor did not voice that whole ah. What's gua? I started saying gua. This is what I need the water for, but I'm at the end of my stream, so my water is depleted. I'm crushed. Oh, I'm crushed. I'm crushed by that shockwave of his weapon. Like a printing... A, a, a printing press! Oh, he actually said that! A printing press. Nice. <clears throat> oh, we're having a waifu fight. Waifu fight in the chat. Ian Hanyu, I think, is Team Saber. Tom's Tom seems to be Team White-Haired Girl. I still don't know her name. Uh, super good time for Rin to appear with Saber. Yep, yep. Uh, Saber, I changed my mind. I'm Team Saber. I'm Team Saber. <laughs> My lower body becomes a two-dimensional object. Unbelievably flat. Wait, she can't be waifu because she's best girl? Wait, you're saying West best girl can't be waifu. I'm so confused. You think she's the best girl, but she's not the waifu? I feel like I don't, I don't think we're using the same terms to mean the same things. I love pancakes, personally. A bit pancakes are one of my favorite breast breakfast foods. Oh, oh. Are, are we talking about her chest being flat, or are we talking about um, uh, flat as in, like, what he just said? Did he just describe something being flat? Oh, I get it. That's the joke. That's the pancakes. See, I thought we were making a joke about how she's flat-chested, and you're being ironic because you prefer Saber because she has bigger boobs. Not that we can really tell. So far, I don't think we've gotten a good idea of how big um, white-haired girl's boobs are, and Saber hides them behind her armor, so... She can't be waifu because of police reasons. She can still be best girl. Okay, no, no chromo. It's okay. There's no chromo, right? Like, it, it's, 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 no, it's fine, all right? I'm not actually Kiritsugu's son. Therefore, we can do it. It's fine. No chromo. No chromo. Haven't you seen a Gigux video on, you know, the, the hot, steamy mess of a uh, show that is Domestic Girlfriend? It's okay. No chromo. Uh, Canadian pancakes are the best. Um... I mean, I haven't tasted pancakes other than Canadian pancakes because I'm Canadian, I think. I, I like Canadian pancakes at least. Mm. Right, back to dying. I can't die. I mean, I can't die. That's right. There is only blood left in my head and my body does not function. And my nerves are wanting to die and escape the pain, but my consciousness will not go away. My throat sounds like a flute. I don't know what a flute sounds like off the top of my head. Like a hoo 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 That sounds actually... I think that sounds way better than what you actually sound like. <laughs> Flapjacks, I heard they're called. <laughs> uh, it echoes inside my skull. The Flapjacks? Would they echo? Would Flapjacks echo? Things to look up. My thoughts are still confused. But wanting to escape this pain... You're wrong. I'm not a master any more. I tell the girl as if asking for help. An instant of hope, please. Kibo, Kibo is hope in Wapanese. But please don't give me. I'm derping. I'm brain derping. I'm in the middle of my epic moment and I forgot what, ja what, what the Japanese version of despair is. Zetsubo! I just remembered. Just don't give me Zetsubo! The girl gasps, as if being surprised. <laughs> Dakara Nani. Nice. Yeah. So what? Ooh. This is a new song. She says so with an angelic smile. My senses freeze. 
I will not be saved no matter what. I fully understand that I'll be killed here. <sighs> Maybe you're small enough for me to pick up now. Is she getting you? Oh, she's she's getting you that small? Like you're being crushed to the point where you're like just a head, and you're already a small person. God, she's awesome. I'm sorry. I, I like bad girls. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I like bad girls. <laughs> Maybe you're small enough for me to pick up now. I'll invite you to my castle, Oni-chan. Castle? Oh, you mean back where... Uh, is it the same place What's-Her-Face was living? Your mom and Kiritsugu were there. Um, I think that was technically belonged to your mom. It was... I think it was a fancy castle. Are you still living there? Um, Renegade's attracted to bad girls. It's true. It's true. <clears throat> I'd say good girl, good guys want bad girls, but it's more like, I'm kind of a bad guy. <laughs> um, oh boy, we get to go home and have dinner. That sounds fun. Oh God. Oh God. She's going to keep me alive with her magic. She's going to keep me alive longer and longer to suffer as a head indefinitely. What if she never kills me? I'm um, Rin, 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 Rin. Rin, when you participate in the Grail War and face her, win, win, beat her, please, please, if I'm being honest right now, please beat her because maybe then her magic will wear off and I'll die and I won't live forever as a head in internal suffering. If she wins, she might make me suffer eternally, eternally. God, that's hot. I mean, God, that's terrible. There are lots of tools once we get there, so let's continue this there. Mm -hmm. My sense will not die no matter how much I'm hurt. They will not die. So rational that now he freezes. I don't know how much longer the head will last. But at this moment, Emiyashiro gives up all hope. There is only Zetsubo. Monokuma would be happy. Monokuma, Monokuma appears. <laughs> Can't do the Monokuma voice right now. My throat is kind of parched from doing a... <clears throat> Bad end. Okay, cool. <laughs> Tiger Dojo is a strange hint corner. If you'd like to beat the game by yourself, or if you'd like to keep the characters' images, please be warned. What? Hold on. What is this Tiger... Taiga Dojo? Like, Fuji Taiga? Let me try to process this. Hold on. Can I save? Um... Taiga Dojo. Also, she killed me. But I forgive her. Because it was hot. I mean, what? Don't judge me. No, it's fine. You can judge me. I'll judge you too. That's the longest one of these I've ever done. <laughs> what does this say? Uh, do that next stream. Uh, what are you guys saying? Tiger Dojo is amazing. But yeah, you can save that for later if you're in a hurry. It's a short bit, but it's over time already. Even though it's short, Rennie, I feel like you need to analyze your priorities. How long does that title go? Yeah, this is the... Uh, okay, whoa. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay, did I make any typos? Uh, oh gosh, typo. Death. Uh, let's see here. All right, uh, Taiga Dojo, also she killed me because I forgive her because it was hot. I mean, what? Don't judge me. No, it's fine. You can judge me. I'll judge you too. You're welcome. Save. Anyways, uh, yeah, I will save. Uh, okay, so there's a Tiger Dojo thing. Apparently, this is going to be a thing. I will look into this next time. Yeah, we'll pick this up next time. Wait? Why are you waiting? Do I have to wait? Um... I was gonna, I'm going to probably pick this up tomorrow at 8 a.m. Um, that song is 
Gardenalia song. Okay, now you've confused me. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, I will continue this. Also, it says, if you'd like to keep the character's images, please be warned. I don't know what that means. Why am I being warned? Um, what is this warning? Can you guys tell me why I'm being warned? One thing I'll say before I stop streaming slash recording. Um, it says, if you'd like to beat the game by yourself or if you'd like to keep the character's images, please be warned. Uh, what is the warning? Does somebody tell me why I'm being warned? Like, is there going to be a spoiler if I click forward on this? That's the one thing. Am I, am I worried? Should I be worried about spoilers? Is this what the, should I be warned? Am I being warned? I, it's warning you for epic awesomeness. Oh, okay. So it's going to be awesome. If you'd like the characters to be, wait, if you would like the characters to be in character. Oh. Oh, I see. So they're going to be out of character and do some funny stuff. That sounds neat. We'll do that next time. <laughs> okay. I was just worried about spoilers. Like if it would reveal all of the servant master duos or something crazy like that. Anyways. Uh, yeah. So I will stop recording. Yeah. I went longer than normal for sure. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Same bad time, same bad channel, 8 a.m. EST. Until then, still don't have an outro phrase. And um, this was fun. We got our first ending, guys. This was probably, this might be my favorite ending in the game. It's, you know, it doesn't have much competition yet, but so far it's my favorite ending. You know, you know, I know, I know, I know it's tough to say that. It's tough to say that without seeing any others first, but I have faith. Stop recording.